we have started. Brilliant! Hi! Welcome to session six of Ambrosia Isles, you guys. We're Sadly, Emp wasn't able to make it today. He's feeling sick. So, uh, instead, we're going to be having someone else come in. And that's going to be fun. But uh, let's let's begin where we last left the party. You had gotten word of the Idolcrace's retreat out of the Dark Forest in Tyon, and were hired on by your contractor Puchingo to investigate the area. However, you soon realize that traveling to Tyon on the day of the Solfire Solstice would be too difficult. Therefore, you embraced the celebration of life and death, you played games, haggled for items, and witnessed the ritual of the cycle. With the solstice, solstice now over, you are now prepared to venture back to Tyon. But you must be wary, as Chalbub's Star Day has just begun. Portals to other dimensions are opening, and creatures from the other worlds will soon follow. So, what would you like to do? Where's Yolo, first of all? He's muted. Uh, he's in the bathroom. He's here. Oh, hello, in the bathroom. You you wake all up right. in the tavern, yeah, in... back, at, uh, back in Riften. I'm gonna... Alright, I would like to, uh... He's in the end suit bathroom. I'm gonna head he's down to my very special magic item. It's the one that doubles money. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Pendant of Wealth? Okay, flip a coin, see... Well, how many coins are you trying to do? Four, because I can't do 20. Okay. Alright, flip a coin, see how many you get. Preparing to flip. Thank you, Google. Uh, heads? Alright, your what money gets do? doubled, so you now have eight coins. You have four more coins. Neato. Sadly, it's only gold. Yep. Uh, yeah, I had to make sure you didn't uh, get any plat doubled platinum for that, because I would be way too overpowered. Yeah, the one goes down. Yeah, remember cool. when uh, I bought all of those herbs and stuff to like no. improve my body, like for like calcium and bones and all that stuff. Yep. It's Sally's gonna be mixing them in her rations, and she's just gonna have some of them for breakfast. All right. The, heading... the barkeep is selling the same thing he has been. It seems he doesn't change his menu very often. Perfectly fine. So same to tofu caramel soup. Oh, ow. I just shudder hearing that. <laughs> Please tell me you have some sort of seasoning in that bag of yours, Lulum. Um, Please. Well, actually, I do. Um, so, uh... I, from my uh, home, we have a type of um, liquid that goes on and can coat things. And like, what would be your favorite like meal you'd ever had? Oh, I don't actually recall my favorite meal. It's been a long well, time. I guess I guess you're about to find out. Um, take this, and he hands you a bottle, and it has a vial, and it has liquid in it. Thank you. Uh, just um, pour this over, or pour it into whatever you're going to eat, and then eat it. Or t just take a bite. Um, a quick question. Does that change the text? That, that just changes the taste, not the texture, right? Um, I'd assume it does not change the texture of food. It is. Well, just so take like, a bite out of it. It would be really weird saying. if, like, Something tasted like steak, but like was actually toothpaste. That's well, ugh. sometimes it, I don't. I'm just I'm just making it bearable for people to eat. So just I don't know. That's not bad. You pour it in. I yeah, like it, it tastes like whatever your favorite thing is. Now. Mm-hmm. Wow. So what? What? What is? No, it just tastes like the blood of a child. Steak and eggs. <laughs> steak and eggs. Yeah. And it tastes um, like steak and eggs. The thing, uh, really cool. back home is that my, uh, me and my father, there's a, uh, merchant we have that sells something that is sort of like, I guess, um, potion, I guess you could say, that, uh, it's more of a trick of the mind to basically make you taste your favorite. I, I use it when there's stuff that's unbearable. I don't have a lot of it with me, but you can, yeah, you can, there's, there's one. <laughs> yeah, I tend to just solve it. 
I just tend to just eat it no matter what it is, really. Food is food. But some food is more healthy than others. Well, yeah, I wasn't offering it to you. The mange asks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, there is a old radio uh, playing in the tavern. Would any of you care to listen? Sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> Sally's going to lift up one of her big fluffy ears and give it a listen. I'll okay, listen now I gotta find it. out two different news anchor voices. Here we go. <coughs> oh, With the celebration of the Soulfire Solstice. <laughs> With the celebration of the Soulfire Solstice now over and done with, people are preparing for the jarring day ahead as portals from Limbo and other dimensions open up, releasing many different creatures from other worlds. We advise all adventurers to be careful out there today. Cherubub will not spare you from the wrath of the portals. In other news, tensions between the Tri-Cities and the Idolcrase tribe continue to grip the community. Investigators have said to uncover information that the Idolcrase were behind the assassination of the Tawaki tribe elders in Riften City. This has caused an uproar from the remaining people of the Tawakis as they beg for justice to be brought down upon the Idolcrase. Still, Tyon's emperor continues to ignore the cries of the people. Speaking of investigators, a new group called Five and a Half Feathers was leaked to be a part of the investigations regarding the Idocrease tribe. We have limited information on most members of the group, but we do know that the supposed leader is Lilam Utako, son of the great paladin Valka from Regalbrook. To it'll be interesting to see how the career pans out for the as Nebula followers aren't very prominent anymore. You can change that, but now we get into the big problem with the nightworm infestations that suddenly the radio cuts off as it's it's a very old, mostly broken radio. It seems like Maybe the tavern owner pawn bought it on a pawn shop or something, and he walks over and tries to fix it. Oh yeah, Lilum, leader. Hey, didn't you have, like, mending or something? Hmm? The what guy, sh the Warforged shrugs. I know, I don't think that would fix it. There's probably, like, a missing component. I can't just, like, you... I, I can't just take a rope and then be like, oh, that's a chain now. No, <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. Huh. I'm magically inclined, I'm not God. I mean, you don't have to be God to fix the radio. You just have to be knowledgeable. Well, yeah, but I don't... <laughs> if component A is missing, I can't make component B into component A. What do you expect, <laughs> what do you expect me to do? I don't know, maybe if it's like... It's you not should try fixing it, Dahlia. It could just be like a battery which has been burst or something. Hmm. All right. Uh, are you gonna fix it, Salia? Huh? No. I'm not magically gifted. <laughs> Me neither. Okay. Look, I. I look at this. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. Uh, give me, um, hmm. Intel, I need to roll for my divination die. I'm just gonna roll Investigation, that. I'd say. I got a three, Investigation. and I got a six. Great divination. <laughs> Investigation? Okay. Investigation, first to see what's wrong with it. Uh, that's like, eleven. You have no fucking clue what's wrong with the radio. My turn, then. Or is it? <laughs> Make an investigation check, Steven. Alright. You know what? Sally is also gonna make an investigation check. <laughs> okay! You can't all make investigation- Okay. I'm not. Okay. I got a 12. Alright, okay. The only reason I'm looking at it is because I was being egged on to look at it, so I'm looking at <laughs> None it. None of you have any idea what's wrong with the radio. You do not know how the magic hmm. or mechanical stuff of this thing works. It's- it honestly seems like rocket science to you. You don't. I see the radio. You see a you see a broken radio and you have no idea what's wrong with it. Yeah, look. Maybe look at we should turn it on and off again. Yeah, yeah look, that look probably look. would work. Our <laughs> biggest quest yet. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try turning maybe it like off and like on a again. Tuning fork or something. Give. Steven, give me an. Uh, what would this be? A repair check? Technological? What did, kind of check would this be? That's a good I don't question. think he can do the check uh, when he knows that he doesn't know what's the problem. <laughs> yeah, it's just luck at this uh, point. Give me just... an intelligence check with disadvantage. 
I'll say. Do you think so so it off, technically it would be Arcana, off. right? Six plus five, fifteen. Um, it beeps on a couple for a split second and then it stops again. No, it's dying. <laughs> oh, that's the best I can do. Oh, does it like have like a battery or something? The Warforged shrugs again. I just bought it at the pawn shop. Not the best purchase. Anyways, well. Uh, so where are we supposed to go now that we finished our, um, you know? Oh, I figured, um, Pachinko didn't give us details. She said wait for after the festival, and she's not here, but no. she's gonna be here now. I'm counting no, down. She... Three, two, one. He told one. you guys to go to the Eiderkreis territories in Tyon. We're supposed to go to Tyon and Eiderkreis <laughs> something, I think. To investigate the uncharted areas of the Eidokrais tribes. Alright. Or we could just I go investigate the uncharted areas of the Eidokrais tribe people. Oh, uh, yeah, I. Uh, so, yeah, I suggest we leave now. Also, uh, Mange, be warned. Uh, what I gave you is, uh, if taken in large amounts, it is highly addictive. So, if you ever feel like, man, I really want that substance again, hit yourself. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Like, I, I'm actually serious. The only reason I carry this in high soil amounts is that if I do it more than, like, one vial, it instantly kills the person, and that is very probable. Well, that's concerning. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, I guess if we do need to kill somebody, I can hold their mouth open while you pull that down their throat. But, I uh, no. <laughs> I mean, just neck shop is, like, way easier for that. I mean, why, why bother wasting resources? <laughs> Anyways, let's make our move. Let's, yes. let's, let's go. But it's easier to make it look like a heart attack if they die. <laughs> oh no, it, it doesn't make it look like a heart attack. It's, it is very painful. Jesus Christ, this got really dark really fast and it's I didn't even have to do Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Alright, go go gadget, bag of tricks. Let's see what All I right. pull. <laughs> oh, you're doing your bag of tricks? Oh yeah. dear. Oh, dear. Four got me a goat. Uh, Just a normal sized goat? Yeah. Uh, G will ride the goat. Shout out to us rolling gro goat every single time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've had goat. About one time, and now. I've, we've had like three goats now. Okay. So, are y'all heading on foot to tie on? Goats. Yep, we're no, gonna go. Goat. Goat. How right. long does this like take us? Um, when you. I believe on foot it takes about a day. There is like evening time to so like, make it until there. like 6 in the morning. Alright, let's Basically head there. It takes yeah. you until uh, 6 that night. Talia is going to keep a lookout for uh, the extra planar creatures and like, you P know, Pachinko did specify that she wants you to go investigate it at night. I forgot to tell you this in the session because I'm a moron. But she wants you to go at night so as soon as you get to tie on you're going to have to go over to the tribe. Alright, let's get moving. Alright. If we leave now, we should be able to make it there by night, and she wants us to check it out at night, so... Good idea. Yeah. Come on, Dorm. Yeah, gonna control it. Go on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am in control of G right now, because... Well, he's I'm investigating for us. Oh yeah, and man, by the way... Him. We can- I can see through those. I think we all can. I just changed it, though. Fine, just don't care about it. Just don't acknowledge it. Hold on. No, I'm fine. I'm just like... Hmm. I don't see anything. I'm fixing it. I don't see anything. There you go. Okay. You can see it now. No. Good. No, you're good. Okay. Hey man, yeah. do I know the hunting laws on um, hunting uh, multiplanar creatures? Uh, usually it depends on the creature itself, or it depends on the realm they're from. Creatures from the Underdark or for the Feywild, uh, most of them are free reign except for protected animals like flumps and a couple other things. Mm -hmm. Uh, but generally most of them, if you don't know the planar laws, are fine. You can pretty much kill any of them. Except for ones from the Underdark and Feywild, the more common realms. Some of them are specified to be holy animals of some god. 
so you can't I'm, actually kill them. On what grounds can I uh, commend diplomatic immunity when uh, when the claims are that I killed an animal without knowing the laws, but because I'm from a different country, I didn't fucking Zone know of the truth. laws existed. Zone of truth. Yeah, but that's not gonna stop me from claiming diplomatic immunity if I didn't fucking know the laws. <laughs> I'm in the legitimate question of not. I am in the legitimate thing of not knowing the laws, but anyway. I can't read, so laws can't hurt me. <laughs> I can't. I, yeah, I can't read, so laws can't hurt me. Usually, it's determined on a zone of truth whether or not you get immunity for those crimes. Anyways, you begin your walk back to the city of Tyon. You were led out of Riften's city lines and travel onto the gravel and sand paths that lead between the Tri Cities. You walk for quite a few hours before finally making your way past the final borders between Riften and Tyon. As soon as you step on the other side of the border, the sky turns that foggy blue color that Tyon is known for. After all, the city is the most polluted place in all of Kamal. Yep. You walk for just another few hours before you finally reach the city. The large steel wall surrounds the city. It is tall and overwhelming. To an outsider, the city looks like a prison. Tall metal towers, the smell of soot, the sound of banging coming from the factories that are the only thing keeping the place's title as profitable. What do you like? To, what would you like to do? It is 6 p.m. as you arrive in the city. So what are we expect to be doing here? You. The details is that you were to go at night to investigate the uh, Idokrais tribe territories after the Idokrais have fled their uh, homeland, so you're going to- Is this an Idokrais territory? Hmm? Is Tyon Idok- yeah? Or Tyon is, it, is the is city, city that borders on the Idokrais tribe's uh, territory. Uh, no, this is Tryon. Well, uh... So I I'd say we go and check in with the local population, see how they're faring, see if any sightings oh. have happened. One other thing. Uh, as you walk in, you see that a good portion of one of the of the peace district uh, has been completely decimated by uh, you you you've gotten used to this before. It's nightworms again. So the shops are closed, and there's a big old path of destruction leading into the Chelabub Seat district. But yeah, let's I guess let's check up on some civilians and see what they're what's been going on. Um, Sounds mm -hmm. good to me. I I guess we moving, I guess. don't have to check into an inn if we're supposed to do it during, you know, the night times. But yeah, not really. We can of, yeah, we can no. camp out. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, camping out is probably better for us. Yeah. Because if you check in, then the Ida Grace might know we're here, right? True. True. Yeah. True. We never know when they have spars and the. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you have any like questions? That? Normally, you'd be complaining and wouldn't stay at an inn. Jay seems to just be kind of staring off into space, not paying attention at all. He's uh, knock on his head. Right. Knock knock. Uh, hello, anybody there? Gee, also I'm um, Bigfoot. Okay, what? let's let's just move on. Let's just go to. But in the same vein, if we ask around, wouldn't that mean people would find that people would find out that we're probably? Here? Let's just find it, I guess. Well, um. You were told to go to this. By the way, you were told to go to the same area where you en first entered the Ida Christ tribes to steal that item. Damn. By the way, just mm -hmm. just so you're aware. Okay, so we're in our original town, right? Yeah. Yes, you're in the original city. Okay, let's go see Eclipse. That's a person who definitely doesn't work for the fucking Ida Christ. What the fuck they're gonna do? Let's, let's just go there. All right. Are you um, heading to the Nashiri yes. Wonder? Now? That's that's at least someone we know who isn't you know like a fucking narc. So. All right, okay. to Eclipse. All right, you walk over. Uh, um, there's a pretty big line of the... Yeah, um, Sally is... Yes. I'd say Sally is probably, like, bit off to go and, like, help with the rebuilding and just casually, like, chat about, like, Oh, hey, so about the Iron Grits and blah, blah, blah and stuff. She's just walking off from the party? Yeah, yeah to go and help yeah, with the rebuilding. Yeah. What, what she's okay. going to do is, like, she's going to help working with people, and then while she's working with them, get them into idle conversation to find out information. Okay. Yeah. I'd say, uh, while you're doing that, roll um, a general charisma check just to see what you find out. Okay. Okay. 
May the sweet. Uh, that's a fourteen. You don't really find out much at all that you already know. The Eidokrais fled uh, about two days ago from their territories across uh, some sort of secret passage. Some people are theorizing. But other than that, you don't know. They don't really know much. They just are repeating what they've heard on the radio, it seems. Mm hmm. Yeah, and what, what else? Is there any other local news? Uh, everyone's like, talking about people the feeding them? and about how Rift. The Rift and Princess is uh, endangering Stupid. everyone with her experiments, trying to prove to her dad that the hunting laws are bullshit. You know, all that jazz. Yeah. Good family mm -hmm. drama. Anyway, the rest of you, you're all heading to Nashiri Wonders? Yay. Okay. You walk over, uh, and you see on the sign that was uh, there last time you were at the shop that uh, Sahara, the other, the uh, Forger is actually in today. Oh! So we're actually open. <laughs> I have no money. Is it just her? Her and yeah. Eclipse are here, but they also say that Eclipse's items are mostly out of stock. Almost out of stock. Okay. So as you walk that. in, you see that Eclipse is sitting at his uh, desk at the front. Uh, seems to be enchanting some sort of card deck. And you see a centaur woman hold it with uh, goggles over her face, uh, looking at one of a scabbard of some kind. Seems like it's meant to fit a rapier. Okay, well, um, hello again. Ah! We are back. Hello! Welcome back! Sister, sister, these are the people I was telling you about. Sahara uh, lifts up her goggles and looks at you. Immediately, her eyes go to Lilum, but she darts away. Hmm. Welcome. Okay, um, so, uh, long story short, um, we are, we were hired to investigate the idol craze again, and, uh, we were wondering if you guys knew anything, and we kind of just assumed that if we went to, like, anywhere else, uh, they'd probably be, like, spies of some sort, and I kind of fully think that you guys fucking hate the idol craze, so I'm just gonna go with that none of you guys are spies. Uh, so you guys got anything inf uh, interesting? About them. Not much that already was on the news. Well, uh, you see, uh, we didn't really hear about the news because our one instance of communication through uh, radio comms uh, was broken. So, uh, <laughs> mind well, killing a thing. Pretty much all they said was that the Idocrest fled, uh, fled the territories like two days ago. They're not sure where exactly they fled to, and that investigators are trying to figure it out. It's very suspicious. I assume okay. they went to like an off island or something, but that's so just my own So you expect them to like not be there, right? No, they're not there. They've checked most places. They're all cleared out. Okay. Since some places um, are leaving uninvestigated because it's too dangerous during the this time of the day. You know, okay, child uh, star day is very dangerous. Would okay, you like right. to see any of my sister's wares before you go? I have no money. Sure. Um, my apologies. Hello. Uh, I think your name Hello. was Sahara. I, I am, uh, Lidham. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Um, nice to meet you, I had to run in with Eclipse. Lidham. Uh, he, uh, paid us to, uh, beat the shit out of a turtle, but, you know, that's an entirely different story. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm rambling on a lot. Uh, got anything interesting? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly armor. Sadly, most of my blades got lost in transport, so if you're interested, you could see some of my subpar armors. What kind of armor mithril. is there? I have Anything? some mithril plate. I have some merchant scale mail. Basically, it's just uh, makes you better at selling things to people. I have some light armor. You can cast That's... light spells a bit. And yes. I have this little scabbard here. And she pulls out that uh, rapier scabbard you saw before. This is an interesting item for sure. It's not overly useful, but it can do this. She uh, takes out a dagger and attempts to put it in the scabbard. The scabbard shifts to fit the dagger. And then when she pulls it out, it has a crisp, cold blade on it. It's uh, pretty fun. Oh, well, that, that seems like something our friend here would want. Um... How much? 
the all the armor is a hundred gold because of the whole discount thing that Eclipse told me about. She kind of darts her eyes over and glares at Eclipse, and and the scabbard will be eighty. Oops, my English just broke. What kind of light armor is it? Light armor. It's studded leather, and it has three charges of the light cantrip, that, which can be replenished. Uh, how much was the sheep? It was eight hundred. Eighty. Uh, I'm going to be 80. perfectly honest with you. I don't think a cantrip should have a charge. <laughs> it's a cantrip. I didn't make the item. <laughs> what so the fuck? That's weird. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> well, um. Steven, do you want the, uh, scabbard thing? Uh, remind me, the scabbard just makes it cold, right? Okay, I'll, I'll give you, I'll say what it is. A scabbard carved with the symbol of stars. It seems to only be able to fit a rapier, however, when you try to place any blade into it, the scabbard shrinks or grows a bit the blade. When placed in the scabbard for at least an hour, the blade will deal an extra 1d6 of cold damage to a target. This only lasts for 10 minutes outside of the scabbard. After 10 minutes past, the blade needs to sit in the scabbard for another hour before it will gain the benefits of the scabbard again. Wow! <laughs> okay. Yes! So I can't put a boomerang in it, it's useless. No, it's it's only for blades. Can't put your hands okay, in it. So, so because, you, you know, because I'm a good Christian boy, I have the uh, sensor <laughs> in the chat on, right? As you do. And uh, it has censored boomer, and I find that really funny. It has censored the yeah. boomer part of boomerang. Damn. That's sad. Anyways. Um, okay, Boomer. Okay, Boomer, yeah. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. if you want it, I can buy it for you, I don't... I mean, would it work oh, for an it. axe? Would it work for an axe head? Yeah, I think it's it something it only all. works for swords, rapiers, and daggers. Nothing like uh, axes, or hammers. Oh. It would have been a lot more pricey if it could fit that. Oh. Can I see it so I can try something stupid? Oh dear. Sure, kid. She hands you the scabbard. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna take out my broken sword that I have. That That's literally just like a quarter inch of a blade that isn't even like sharpened. He's gonna put it in. He's gonna take it out. It, it's, have it The scabbard fits into as if it were a full-on blade. Like, meshes together with the sword. Okay, so I'm gonna cast. Blade. I'm gonna take it out. Does it have the enchantment? No, it has to stay in there for an hour. Oh, for an hour. Okay, never mind. Yeah. We'll have to we'll yeah, have to figure it out in an hour. Blade. Yeah. Okay. I I'll buy it. I want to. I want to try it. I'm gonna Maybe try gold. something stupid. There you go. For <laughs> sure. All right. You pay up eighty gold. Would you be interested in any of the armor? I am. Ah, well, nobody. I don't have any money anymore. <laughs> I have money, but I don't really want the armor. I don't really use armor. So. Well, have a nice day then. Be careful also, out there. I am you not too. trained in any way to wear heavy armor, so... Um... <laughs> I will just trip over myself. Don't worry about uh, it, don't worry about um, it. Give me a perception check, please. <laughs> I got... Uh, a five, uh, a ten. Okay, you do not notice a thing. Okay. <laughs> well, the uh, is that all we're going to that you know get here? Does anyone uh, else want anything or like no? No, I'm, I'm fine. All I'm, right, I'm not buying anything. Okay, well, um, I suggest we go find Celia. Um, let's go. Thank Have a nice you. day. Guys. Have a good day, my lady. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, Sahara puts her goggles back on and starts forging a soul and uh, a sword in the back of her uh, shop. As you leave. Ah, hey. Uh, Did you so, find uh, anything? Yeah, I found out that. Um, sort of. I uh, found out that the ID case that they left about uh, two days ago, which I believe was before the whole incident. So they knew of it before, and. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and this is different to what's on the news. Uh, most people seem to believe that there's some sort of secret tunnel that they use to escape. So keep your eyes out for, like, you know, secret tunnels enough to, like, fit most of the population. Are there any secret tunnels around me? <laughs> <laughs> I want to I wanna use my tremor sense to locate tunnels. 
Thank oh you, Toph. <sighs> That's yeah, an I'm actual ability you my will top. have. You can, you can actually do that, but yes, no, it's only I know. for certain worms. Anyways, well, um... I guess we just... I mean, uh, it would make sense. With all the night worms about, there's definitely a lot of sea tunnels underground. So, where are y'all headed? The Ipo Grace is using the night worms. Oh, uh, yeah. De uh, probably. I mean, the, the, the other one people are quite high up in the monk order. I wouldn't be... pass the uh, princess so we... to be involved. That'd become a much bigger problem than it should be. I uh, say so we check out the forest first. Might be something That's how problems are. They become bigger problems than they should be. And like, oh shit. But, you know, hopefully I'm wrong. Well, yeah, I probably should realize as a person who is hired to deal with problems, I should probably, you know acknowledge that that is a thing anyways we should just move on because i am definitely like something's going on and uh, i just kind of want to get this over with because i am very tired moving mm -hmm. on for eight hours with like one hour of rest every like four is kind of tiring <laughs> yeah you get used to it <laughs> what All the right. fuck you mean you get used to it you did the exact same thing we did <laughs> yeah and i uh, and i'm like four years younger yeah and i'm crippled Four years you Uh huh. <laughs> like. Alright. You are all are one to talk. Another two days. Are we going to the forest? I think we are. Yeah, are y'all heading to uh, the forest? Yes, I we're mean, heading to the forest. How late in the day is it? We're heading to the uh, forest. It's about 6.30. You only really spent a half an hour doing other stuff. Oh, 6.30 a.m. PM. PM. I say we start. Oh, okay. we, we stop we making time. our way towards there. Yeah, I'd say we take like um a two. We can have two hours of rest, Mister Walkie. All right, no, fine. I'm fine. We can move on. I mean, it's kind. It's not late yet. The, the, the sky is the sun is still up. And in Tyon, it gets much when, darker real quick. Very yeah, fast. Yeah. When, when, when does like the sun set? The sun sets at around four. Damn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, how, the last how many hours of night is there? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Fuck. Big Tyron, it's all sorts of fucked up. Alright, I'm gonna send my dormy to scout out the forest. Uh, I guess okay. I guess we're gonna take like a 30 minute break and then like while that's happening and then we're just gonna send dormy to scout. <laughs> yeah, don't hurt oh, me. He, Stormy flies over and sees that there are guards here, seemingly from Tyon, as they have the Tyon sigil on them. And you see an entire camp of uh, Tyon officials and investigators out here camping and looking for clues. These yeah, aren't like hard. bad people, right? No, the, they're Tyon officials. This is what you yeah. were told to expect. Okay. So, uh, Dormy found a bunch of Tyon officials. Yep, well, maybe we go. could ask them for some clues as well. Yeah. Sure, we oh, can also, so, um... That's the same area where you were before when you went to go. This is where you're supposed to go. I really like the you idea of, like... The investigator officials to go investigate the rest of the track. This is where yeah, you're supposed to go. I like I like the idea of we, we are in, like, eyeshot of the guards at the gate, and we can most definitely see them too. <laughs> we're just, we're just <laughs> resting there for a bit. We're just like, yeah, we're just going. Hold on, give us, give us a minute, all right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sally's just like you know doing push-ups and sit-ups. Just like, yeah, I might as well get some training in, some stretching yeah. before whatever happens. I'm just doing. I'm just doing. You know, training with my axe I'm, and getting. I'm putting my. I'm putting my broken blade into the freezer. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm about to try something stupid. I'm very excited. Uh, one moment. Okay, you walk up. Ah, so that works with blades, mm -hmm. right? Do you think it Me works with darts? Um, well, I guess. It might work. You, you walk oh. up to the wall, or the... Uh, What's left of the wall? Former wall of the Ido Curry's tribe, and you see that this is the exact same area where you were last time you were here. And in fact, I... the wall you climbed over has been completely demolished. 
And as you walk up, there's a lot of time on guards. There's some investigators talking and camping out. Well, yeah, um, I don't really think it would work, you know, that well, because, like, a dart isn't really much of a blade. This is more of, like, a stick point. Oh, um, we're here. Um, yeah. hello. Uh, a couple people wave to you. Uh, okay, yeah. well, I do like a cute bell. It's yeah, different from um, the monk bear, which only monks know about. We're, um, the, uh, I guess, party hired as investigators. So do you have, like, is there some sort of, uh, head or, like, representative that we could talk to? Uh, one of the guy, one of the guys, this guy over here, points over in this direction, and we're gonna have Ren come in here in a minute. Wow. Epic. Wow. Epic. Uh, mm-hmm. You're not describing Jelly yet, just sit there for a second. <clears throat> no, sit down, Ren. Just, uh, Same. as you see over actually, here, actually that, uh, before you begin, a high-ranking guardsman of Tyon walks up to you guys. And two other people are following close behind him. You see that the two people following him are a golden dragonborn paladin who wears white plate armor. In the center of his chest plate lies an odd gem shard that hovers with some sort of magic. The paladin wears the sigil of Alrain, and seems to be one of the most high-ranking paladins of some sort of order. While the other person is a nun lady. Now we invite jo Ren to join so he can describe Miss Jelly. Uh, okay, you... give me a second. S sound is way off. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're very quiet. Alright, you're really quiet, really, really quiet man. Hi, quiet. I'm Dark. How you doing? Please. Oh, None God. of you might echo when I talk. Difficulties. I think. We're dealing some tactical difficulties. Okay, am I still quiet? You're kind not of loud now. Not really. Or at least not for me. Kinda. Loud enough that you can hear me on a regular basis. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, good. If I strain. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay. Well, you're seeing the little gnome lady. She's walking around, wearing like a bluish skirt, I guess, also mm -hmm. Uh, wearing studded, some sort of leather armor and a simple white shirt under it. Uh, silvered hair, blue, nice purple eyes. Fairly pale skin, with a slight tint of blue. Also, which color? Can I just steal a color or...? Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Ultraviolet. Any mini that one for now, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, fairly simple looking. On her side, she has like a wooden shaped wand that's shaped to look like what we would know as a gun. It's completely wooden. And she's wearing like a couple of flasks of like alchem, what you would probably assume is like alchemist. Various uh, types of alchemical, various alchemical substances and such. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, the most noticeable is probably her her right arm, as it is uh, fully mechanical, uh, and it's moving normally, but it's not that all, you know. It's all machine moving around. She's just jumping up and down, humming to herself as she's. Walking behind uh, this guard. Uh, with a big smile on Fen her face. Fenris uh, leans over to you and whispers uh, something. He says, okay. That's Be cool. Uh, huh? Oh, why, hello there. Uh, One of the, the guardsmen who was escorting the two uh, just backs away. Hello, I'm Fenris and this is my uh, sister, J J Jelly. <clears throat> and, nice uh, to meet you. We are the leading. Nice she just you. lifts her arm. Hello, I'm Jelly. This is Peanut. P what? Please don't call me that. Peanut? Peanut? Yes. It's this is Peanut. Uh... No, okay, no, 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 no. Peanut. Uh... Yeah. Good, good. Uh... Anyways, we're glad you can make it here. Yeah. You glad you could be here. After all, yeah. we could really use your help in our recent investigations. Uh, it's our pleasure, Peanut. Uh, I see. She 
Jelly's just looking around like, which one? Which one? Je um, Jelly, Jelly. He kind of hold. He kind of stops you from rummaging in your bag. Jelly, d not not now. Uh, I, I wasn't doing anything. I'm just. Uh, I need to probably... rummage around through your bomb bag. We don't need to start off an explosion, especially in this area. In the castle. Oh, <laughs> Actually, it might be useful. Um, I I think the Idle Grace might have escaped through a secret tunnel, and you know, the one way that's to reveal the secret tunnel is the area. It's just some rumors spread around by the Tyon's leader. Don't pay attention to them. Anyways, we really could use your help investigating deeper into the uh, Idle Grace forest. All right. Know. Which uh, way are we heading? Okay. Right. He points <laughs> over in this direction. Uh, which doesn't look like a much narrower path, by the way. This seems like it's one path at first. You don't see these different porks in the road. Uh, she's tugging like, at Peanut's arm. Uh, just like... Get them. He, he leans to... down to, to see... He leans down by you, Jelly. Wait, wait what are we doing? Just like whisper. Just, just playing along. And he's, he slouches back up. Anyways, we should uh, be. Uh, Lilum moves forward to them while they're like in their idle conversation, and he goes like, "Oh, um, hello. Uh, it is nice to meet you too. Um, my name is Lilum. I am. Uh, we well, we are hired here to investigate. Uh, what do you guys know what about that? Well, what we know so far is that most of the items that the idol craze had possession in were taken along with them wherever they went, and most uh, footprints lead deeper into the forest. But most of our investigators are too afraid to go in uh, there, based on the uh, rumors of uh, animals, especially on Child of Star Day. So we were wondering if you were able to uh, help us before these tracks run dry. Yes, perfectly okay. fine. Wait, what? Hey, what was your name? Sure. Oh, um, leave them. Nice to meet you. Uh, I call him Trumpet. Yeah, okay. Did you say Lily? Mm. Lily? No. Lily. Jelly. Jelly. Like L I L A M. Like you know, like. T R U M P. Liliana. Of course. Of course. Thank you. No, it's like. I apologize for my sister. Yeah, Lily. Yeah, no, it's like. 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 Yeah, it's okay. I get called a lot of things a lot. Um, it's like Liam, but it's with like it's the Elvish spelling, but when translated into common, there's an extra L, and uh, it's really stupid. Uh, but it's just it, it is Liam. You just have to deal with that. Uh, yeah, it's Elvish. That explains why I can't say. Okay. Yep. Hey, I'm <laughs> Sally Grumble. Uh, that's Stephen with a PH. Uh, that's uh -oh. Dory. <laughs> that's Man. And the one over there is um. Gee. Hello, Ow. G. Uh, he's uh. he's good Bigfoot. No, ah, he's 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 that's a green gnome, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, no, anyways, it's, we it's should be getting a new one before it's any darker. Fine. Right, do you have a problem? That's right. Let's famous? get moving. No. Where to? Uh, this way, right? Deeper into this forest. This I'll area. be the setting door. Oh, All right. Path. All right. Oh, Let's get moving oh, then. Peanut. It's customary. Every every new friend, I have to throw a bomb at. Jelly, I s no. I swear Is to Elvish. Something wrong with her. Uh. Ah, too too late. No. Are you throwing one of your bombs? Of course. Okay, uh, I, if, you, if you're throwing at me, I'm gonna deflect myself. You can't deflect uh, myself, bombs. Sadly, they're unstoppable, essentially. Uh, do I have the dice, or can no. I just throw my regular dice here? You can just roll your regular dice. That's okay. Fine. Deflect myself, yes, this is normal. Uh, no, it's specifically... To be fair, level. it doesn't deal damage, and it does a sub effect, so it is considered a spell, and you cannot deflect the spell. Yep. Okay, so we just I drop it, essentially, where most people will be hit. Do you have a te like uh, any of those radius, nice radiuses, or do I just have to gauge it? Uh, oh, and, and, uh, well, where are you dropping it? Uh, in the middle of everybody, because... Oh, that hits all of us. Yeah, it, it has a 10 foot sphere in it. So, uh, hold yeah. on, hang on. Not enough time uh, to run. <laughs> so it's hitting nope. as well. Yeah, it hits yep. everybody. Uh, so, let's roll this and see what random 
It's ten feet. So ten feet don't kill Dormy. Okay. Ten feet. Uh, <laughs> as long as it doesn't deal damage, Dormy will be fine. Okay. No. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, no. Everybody has plus one morale to all to all the roll to their first roll after this. So what everybody is, is feeling be? extra conf confident currently. Okay, you, 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 Jelly pulls out of her little bag a small greenish blue bomb and she yeets it onto the ground and it explodes out in a ray of butterflies. Yeah. Oh, oh I thought it was please. actually gonna kill us. It can if, if, if they're random. So. Like, they would shit. never kill anybody. They have killed people. Anyway, we should get a move on. You're right. Hey, what about my bomb? I feel left out. Oh, you want no. the bomb too? Okay. No. 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 We're not doing that. You have two people stopping you from being able to throw a bomb. No. No. Bomb. For an hour, you get one plus one to rolls. Hooray! Oh, you know the first it's roll. It's the next. The first roll. Oh, oh the first okay. roll. The first roll you make within the next hour. Okay. Okay. Let's just. Oh, come on, peanut. Let's just. No. Don't, don't refer to me like that, please. It's Fenris. Can I send Dormy first? To All right. Uh, you can I guess, certainly try. I, I guess I it'll be fun hanging out with some people. Yeah, uh, um, Steven, why? I don't really think we have um, the time to have someone scout out. No, you'll s Dormy will, uh, Dormy oh, will okay. scout first, and then, you know, if there's anything bad, they'll let us know, and then we can prepare. Okay. I mean, um, I can just scout. Up and you, see the three, you see the three-way fork in the road. This is actually a little ways down, but I ran out of room. Uh, there's a long, narrow pathway, and then it leads out to three different. Dor Dormy doesn't okay. have speaking abilities. There's three pathways. Which one should we take? Ah, very I easy. You oh, can't really make out any of the details of the pathways until you actually get to them physically. Oh, no, no, that's the one thing you never do. What? Trust me, I've we... done this before. That's not a good idea. We split up all the time. I mean, sometimes. Jelly and Ren can go. Oh, not Ren. <laughs> Jelly. Jelly. Oh. Let me okay. see. Okay. I don't get to do this very often. Anyway, uh, as you walk up to the three forks in the road, you see that a lot of the ground is uh, scattered with gold. Well, not gold, silver and gemstones that seem to have been dropped. And you see the tracks that are again two days old. And, uh, she mutters to herself, but make important speeches. I do that all the time. You see that the. You know what? Everyone give me a perception check. Generally. Yeah. <laughs> Every guy that right. gets to go. Well, see, 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 uh, see if you notice. I'm doing Plus this one now. gamers. Yeah. I'm doing this now so y'all don't, you know, have it later. Twenty. Okay. My. I also Ooh. got an unnatural twenty. What are uh, what are we rolling? Twenty three. Perception. Oh dear, so many toys. Okay. You're I'll roll for door. Jelly too. happened to be walking behind somebody, so she's not being able to actually pay attention. I'm sorry. Behind. I roll the uh, Fen Fenris will also roll. Peanut, you're I... in my way. I can't see. I have a 13. Ooh, natural 20 for him. Okay. Um, so you all basically see this. Uh, down the left path, the path to your left, the first path, I'll, I'll call it, you see that some of the roads that lead down the path have been broken apart, like something big stepped onto them and crushed them inward. And you also see that some of the mushrooms and flowers that line the uh, path uh, are glowing pink and blue, oddly. And that a river runs, and that the river that runs down in between these two roads uh, has turned black, or some sort of dark gray color. Down the middle path, or path two, you see that the trees are denser and more close together. It seems like the fol foliage is a little different down this path. And that, uh, oh wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, down the middle path are actually the tracks of little bird feet. And a little further down, you see that some sort of white fur has caught on some bushes nearby. And that the bushes themselves seem to have been painted with some sort of magical mist. And the third path, to the right, the trees are denser and more close together. And you see some land, 
something that you think is lanterns from a distance that seem to be glowing blue and green. And you also see that on the right path further down is a lake or some sort of pond that water has turned white gold. Damn. What would you like to do? Lots of choices. Ooh, mushrooms, they might be a good for alcohol. Yeah, like, Have fun. Don't wander, wander off on your own like you always do. He kind of drags you back. We need to work this together as a team. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. You should put a okay. leash on her, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, she's not that bad. Uh, why don't we throw a bomb and see see which see what see which way the bomb decides? Oh, that's a good idea. No, no, we're not Jelly. doing the bomb. Jelly, Jelly, look at me. You can throw your bombs later if we get into a battle. Okay. Ah, but ah. Let's not injure the party or any sort of group unless it is our enemies. Understood. I'll be setting Dormy here by by herself. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I just throw it in that direction, what was that? it would be bad. Two. Two. What? Two? Uh, uh, halfway through, uh, you can't see a thing uh, through Dormy for some reason, and she kind of get just floats on back on her own. Uh, nothing. Um, it seems like there's some weird magic shit going on deeper into the forest that's preventing you. Looks like there's some weird magic shit in the forest. Ooh, oh, uh, this is an epicenter for portals, so... Is that a flying dolphin? No. It's a flying fish. It seems to it's be a dolphin without a dorsal fin. Wait, what's Wait. a... Is there supposed to be one? What? <laughs> Wait, I, okay. I don't know, it looks anyway, like... Anyway... He's a half and five and a half evers. I, I believe that we should head down the left path. It seems like a little safer than the other ones, even though the road is kind of concerning. What do you offer? But wouldn't uh, wouldn't the uh, less safe ones be where the Ida Crest would head? Well, it seems be... apparently, from what I've seen geography-wise, some paths lead to the same place, but they're used to sort of for outsiders to get lost in. Oh, so it... That's my personal theory. So it leads to the same location? They could. It's definitely a possibility. I'd say, I'd say we pick one and go down it. I read in a book that good adventurers go left. Okay, sure. You can go left. I'm thinking we either go left or go straight. Right just doesn't sit well with me. Looking it's quite fun. We should go left. All right. You're just gonna date this VOD, aren't you? <laughs> Damn, really. Let's get moving. Then. All right. I will get the portal. Jelly, you All right. the jelly, you are not leading. I am leading. What? Nah, but. That... Hey, do you have any like scouting bones? Ah, I, I might have. Let's see. What the fuck's a scout? Uh, bomb? I'm sorry. You're going to Jelly, lead? no more bombs until we get until we encounter something, please. I'll be sending Dormy okay. in front of us again. Uh, once again, she loses track of her sight and gets just floats on back. Oh okay. damn it, Dormy! I mean, we've encountered the mushrooms. Mushrooms. Can I at least bring some of the mushrooms for research. I wouldn't do that, Jelly. Please. I have a metal arm. What could possibly go wrong with me touching that with my metal arm? Jelly, just no. Uh, can Do I roll I... survival to have a look at the mushrooms? I was about to ask Maybe that too. Survival check. Alright. I want to give Dart advantage to something the same. Alright. When you see, um... Jedi, it could corrode your arm. I can fix corrosion. I'm also pretty sure it's immune to that. Right, that's an unnatural 20. Um, you know this. I don't know how you know this, but I guess it's just a weird fact you picked up in school. Uh, you can tell that these mushrooms are uh, from the Feywild. You don't know how they grew here so quickly, uh, but they're here. <laughs> oh, they're from the Feywild. My father went there once, and he told me about them. He definitely. Ah, I need to bring some. No, mm -hmm. Jelly. Yeah, I sure, can... Mud. Mm. Picks up, just picks up a few with the metal arm and just puts them in. Okay, you get some wild mushrooms. I'm not gonna say what they do because I didn't plan for that. But 
for later, Jelly, to figure out. Like. Okay. One moment. I... Good snack. No, no, no. We're not just eating them. Oh. Right. We need alchemy. As you walk down, you uh, see that the cracks in the road start to get uh, bigger and bigger. It seems like something was pacing in this area. And as you walk up, you see... Hold on. I wonder if it's nightcrawlers. Or walkers. Uh, Fuck. These holes are starting to be a little bit big. Giant hyenas feasting on the uh, corpse of a lurker. And they uh, seem to have not yet noticed you. Uh, they're busy. Uh, how about we don't? Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, uh, that was nice down this road. Let's uh, go the other way. No, oh. Jilly, it's too... Oh, no, we, no. Might as well head on. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, how good are you two at stealth? We could definitely sneak past them. <laughs> she looks at you. Hell? It means to be sneaky. Uh, get seen. Yeah, sorry like, about, you know. Sorry about this, her keep leaning and causing everyone else to lean. I messed it up when I put her in the infinity bag, so she's affecting everybody else. Stop leaning on me. <laughs> Don't pay attention to her. I'll fix it later. Anyway, so, what do y'all, what would y'all like to do about this? There we go, done. I mean, I could bait him and me. Sounds like, um, we should probably just sneak past. They seem quite distracted. Like, the only thing which would really get their attention would be the smell of blood. Peanut, up. I can't move fast. You, by the way, guys, you definitely know that these guys are not from the material plane. You've never even heard of giant hyenas, only small ones. Just so you know. I mean, uh, are those normal? Like, I'm not from here, but. No, those oh, are no, normal. no, no, not at all. Ah. Ah. I, I think I, 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 think I dissected one at, one at some point. I've never seen those in my travels. No, they're anyway, getting close guys. To... Yeah, they're, they're almost finishing the meal. Decide. Sneaking time. Right. How Come how on. many of you are going to do stuff? All of you? I say we sneak. I, I'm going to do stuff. Jelly is going to tr- attempt to. Peanut. Everybody, I can't move, move fast. I can't move Everybody. fast. Pick me up. I will. Come on, Dormy. Uh, he picks you up, Jelly. You're. Wait, like... no, not Dormy. Disadvantage. Uh. Let's see. If, if he's wearing heavy armor, he was already doing with disadvantage. Yep. Yellow's AFK. Actually rolled decently. Uh, that is a 19. I'm gonna walk. Oh, what are you gonna walk with G? Uh, uh, nice. G just wins. Um, <laughs> no, no, G rolls a natural one and won stealth like he did like every time I'm before. I'm gonna just say throughout the session, G is... Just generally being sneaky, uh, just for the sake of my sanity, because I don't actually want to. Yes. All right. Are we sneaky? We couldn't think to it because we've had ourselves. Uh oh. It's natural. I'm just here. Uh, up. I got a set. I got a set. Why am I in the front? Uh, type type all your uh, totals in the chat so I can. I already it. did. All right. Good. <laughs> um. Cool. Hmm. You are not stealthy at all. You are very much wrestling. And as you begin to walk this way, uh, one of the hyenas turns around oh. and he's over the sniff. He's gonna roll perception. Come on. Meat on you. That is a. Well, that definitely beats it. That's a 19. Oh uh, shit! And immediately he brushes away the uh, the bushes and he sees you, Mange. And in fact, he sees most of you. Bob, uh, go ahead and everyone roll initiative. We could talk it out, hyenas. Have... Come on. Did you have all meat on you, man? Maybe a little. Oh, God boy. damn it! I'm not Tell stealthy. Me. You know this. No. All right. Um, Ooh, sixteen. Um, more. If we can take it out quickly and quietly, we can keep Ooh. the others from noticing. <laughs> It immediately howls. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, hey, Nan, Nan! Initiative Whoa. happens first. On its, on its turn, it can use its action to howl. Or free action. Too late. I'm what's, what's that? Hyenas, ouchie! Oh, Giant hyenas. Yes. Roll initiative. 
Okay, finally I get to use Dormy. I'm not forgetting this time, holy shit. Oh dear. Who oh, wants oh, the help boy. action? Oh boy! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peanut! Uh, I'm gonna stay up here! <laughs> Jumped on his back! Three. What does G roll? G will roll... Oh, well, apparently an actual 20. Uh, Damn. Me... Let me get yes. sheet up, because I forgot about that. Doo -doo -doo. Who wants the Oh, jeez, guys, I'm going third. Um, I, don't well, I don't actually know his initiative. He rolled a 20, but... Oh, well, he he's a rogue. Initiative. Okay, he's not there. <laughs> Good All job, right. G. Jesus. Well, G uh, still hit and rice against sneak attack. Huh? Never oh mind. no, Carry she on. didn't roll for G, so we yeah, assume no, he's been know. found. Uh, well, I'm just gonna assume he doesn't, and he's just gonna go ahead and walk up to it, make an attack against it. Damn, G. Going up. Go uh, I forgot how to play. Uh, he misses. He rolled a one. Ah. <laughs> and the other one. What, what? Didn't he have advantage because he was unseen? No. Uh, I'm gonna say no. They're pretty close, so yeah. Uh, yeah, he misses uh, a second time with his other attacks. And uh, that's the end of G's turn because he can't really do anything else. Uh, Salia, you're up. Alright. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Alright, so when it when is it in initiative? It's is it next to me? Oh, that's how you know if we I don't know which one this is. Okay, this is hyena one. This is hyena two, this is hyena, okay. hyena three. No, I'm actually hyena three. Yeah. Can I can I have a there's no initiative thing for me. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'm going to step back here, and I'm going to go uh, boomerang time. I'm going to put out whack, right. and I'm going to go whack. Roll the hit. Uh-huh. Uh, that is a 14 plus 7, so that is a 21. Yeah, that hits. hits. Roll damage. Yep. On d4 plus 5. Got uh, that is seven. Alright, seven damage. Here's my second roll to hit. Uh, that is eighteen plus seven. That's like um, twenty five to the twenty five hit. Yep. Alright. Roll damage. And this is Ooh, that's a four plus seven, so that's eleven. So seventeen um, damage total. <sighs> yep. And then just like fling fling whack. Straight across the snout, as if, you like, you know, you maybe, out, maybe that scares it a little. You pull out your boomerang and you whack it against the head. What else would you like to do? Um, I use that's my action and my bonus action, and I use my move. I'm done. Alright. Uh, it is now Hyena 2's turn. Uh, seeing that this is going on, uh, can I go ahead and get... walk up? I'm One, a date. Two, I, I'm a. And he's gonna go ahead and attack Fenris. Uh, no. Hyena two, this is not Hyena 2, this is Jelly. Just so you know, the color yeah. is Jelly. The one you're going for now, 18. That's oh. Well, yeah, Hy Hyena 2 is on a 10 on initiative. He's slow. Bruh. What the fuck? Alright, Jelly turn. That's Hyena 3, never mind. Okay, Jelly, it is your turn. What, 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 what would you like to do? Okay, uh. It's like, okay, you know, uh, Oh, jumps down. There, five, ten. Ten, five, thirty. Should be close enough at this point. Yeah, thirty foot. So we're just putting a bomb in the middle of these two. So we'll bomb those two. Alright, roll the hit. Or, wait, you don't have to roll the hit. No, That's the best part no... about your bombs. What? All right. <laughs> there is no rolling. Ah, okay, we got got a nice 72. And this is what, 1d100. Uh, so the area is covered in a thick, thicky slime. It now counts as uh, difficult terrain, <laughs> uh, and it, it can only be washed away with water. And anyone who was in the area when it exploded also has their movement speed lowered by ten. Okay. Can you have a radius? Yeah. Uh, I I got out the cones and stuff over here. 
cones, lines, and spheres. Uh, it's like that ish, I guess. Ten foot about it. Epic. Oh shit. Uh, put it that lit. It's Very epic, like, my dudes. Yeah. So there, yes. those two are now ten feet slower, and they are currently within difficult terrain. Uh, Jelly pulls the bomb out of her. No, no uh, this uh, materializes in her in her mechanical okay, arm. On the mechanical material, and like, it's a glass bomb full of jelly, and you yeet it at the at the hyenas, and it explodes into a sticky goo, and they get yeah. get really trapped in there, kind of. It, it's slime, but okay. Yes, slime. And she just sort of walks back. She doesn't. Okay, there we go. Uh, that worked out. Uh, Is that the end? Yeah, she doesn't have anything to do. Okay. Start to throw bombs. It's a uh, hyena three's turn. Ah, uh, it's stuck ish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's stuck ish. So, ten, ten feet and difficult terrain also reduces it by five, right? Yeah, it has to pay double the movement for each feet. So he's like, okay. he has to spend like twenty extra five, feet to 20, get out of it. Twenty. And, uh, he can get about right here. Oh, watch out for pack tactic. <laughs> it's still too far away to get back. Wouldn't matter like, if we yeah. killed them if we kill the first one. Uh hmm. it's gonna go ahead and bite Fenris. Uh they do have reach, by the way. Damn. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh well that's a three, so no. He the hyena tries to claw at Fenris, but he dodges out of the way. And uh that's the end of the hyena's three times. Nice dodge. Thank you. And uh Steven, Steven and the song activating blade song for the you see plus for the AC. <laughs> All right. After that, I'm gonna. Oh, actually no, I want to I want to try my new item. It's the ice knife. Wait, no, uh, that's my well, bonus action. I can't do that right now. All right. Oh, right. you got the uh, the cloak thing, the ice knife item. Pack tactics scares me. <laughs> you know, I've ha I've had a lot of bad experiences with it. Okay. All right. Go up here and attack this. this Roll the hit. What Roll exactly it. are you attacking with? Just your my short sword. All right. Come on. Uh, that's a nineteen hit. A nineteen does hit. Roll damage. I'm also going to be casting Booming Blade with it. <laughs> Alright. 1d6 plus 3. Oh! 9 damage. 9 damage. Alright. Pull out your blade, and it glows in the green aura, and you swack, and you slash at the hyena's uh, face. And... Dormy's turn. <laughs> it's gonna go up here and use the help action on myself. And oh, that's all it. Alright. Alright. Uh, whose turn is next? It is, uh, Yolo. Yolo. Your turn. Um, okay. Well, I'm interested. Okay. Well, I kind of hear a five. And I'm going to take out the weapon out of the. Ice scabbard. See if it does anything. Uh, it ha it has been in there for an hour, so it Damn. does an extra one d six of cold damage if you use it. Okay, he's going to twirl it and cast shadow blade. Yep, the cold is still on it. Oh. Okay, that's one spell. Um, you can use another cantrip. Well, yep. no, I'm just gonna make an attack. No. Is it dark out? Um, yes, it's dark in the forest. Okay, I'm and gonna make an attack against the hyena. Alright, roll the hit. Roll high. Damn it, oh. That is, uh, 16. 16 hits, roll damage. Ooh, 2d8 plus 1d6. 1d6? Yep. Look at this man, divine smiting as a wizard. Uh, so that's one cold damage, and, uh, 12 psychic, 
psychic damage. All right. This when you use the text, Thirteen damage total. All right, you pull out the blade blade hilt from your scabbard, and it's the shadow and the ice almost mix together into one sort of blade, and you slash at the hyena as it recoils from the cold. And is that all you would like to do? I guess whatever works. Oh yeah, the sander's turn. All right. It's now Hyena 1's turn. He's kind of getting a little, uh, he's getting beaten up. So, uh, he's gonna go ahead and bite at you, Lillum. Oh, why? He didn't deserve it. Oh god, why are they- okay, he- Okay, that's a natural 1, so- Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's only a- that's only a 6 to hit, so that does not hit. And he's gonna do his other attack. Damn. Which- Oh. That is a 17 plus 5. Does that hit, Lilum? Oh uh, yeah, I think I think it does. <laughs> All right. Roll. Let's see, where are my D eight? There they are. One D eight, please. Two D eight. <laughs> Fuck. Three D eight. Last offer. No. Okay. Four. So that deals. Six D eight. <laughs> that deals seven points of piercing damage. You rolled Ow. really badly. And, uh, that's the end Jabba of his turn. Little... <laughs> and, uh, it is now Hyena 2's turn, so he's gonna take 20 feet to get out of here. Does he get, like, five, 10 40. because... Are you sure? <laughs> it's it's 20 more... feet because it's difficult terrain and his, uh, and he's slowed down by 10. No, it's Damn, 20 it's... just to get out of there and then he has a confused movement speed. And that lasts after they get out of there. So it's 20 to just get out and then they okay, never and he's... Up. He's only about, like, here, so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of the fast as fuck. Uh, Mange, it is now your turn. Very good. Okay. For... I'm going to... Rage for bonus action. Alright. And then... Reckless attack. With my axe. Oh, against Hyena 1. Against Hyena really 1. Beaten up on Hyena 1. <laughs> Alright, roll the hit. Pog. I think it hits. That's. Yeah, that definitely hits. Okay. Roll damage. Anything Sorry. above a 12, it hits. Oh, alright. How much is that? 13. Plus some raging. Give me a quick second. Hey, hey, Nan. Do you do swarm walls where, like, if four more people are surrounding it, we get advantage? Uh, no, not on these guys. They're immune to that. They're immune to swarm because they're big. Uh, fifteen damage. Fifteen. All right. This guy is looking yeah. very good. He's, he's, he's not looking too good. Yeah. Alright. What else would you like to do? Is that the end of your turn? Uh, I don't really think I can do anything other than move. Which... No thank you. I'm not moving. Alright. Top of the round. It is now G's turn. He's going to go ahead and make an attack against Taina 1. With advantage, right? <laughs> Maybe. Not sure. Yeah, I'll give him advantage. Oh. Uh, yeah, that didn't help. He only rolled a three, so no. Damn. <laughs> Literally. Uh, classic big foot. Don't try his attack with the other. Oh uh. dear God. Uh, God, why everything? It's a fucking four. What the hell? You're okay. Good. Uh, no, G misses both times, and uh, that's all he can do. Uh, Salia is now your turn. Hit him what? really hard, Salia. Okay, you got it. I'm gonna walk up here. I am going to. Is this oh. guy. Can I hit this guy for like. If I move here? Yes, you uh, can. Are you number one? Are you number yeah, one? I'm gonna. Yeah. yeah. I am going to punch Hyena number one in the neck. Like a neck punch. Like, Roll the hit with disadvantage. 
Wait, oh. disadvantage? Why? They, everyone has disadvantage on uh, unarmed strikes against these guys. Really? Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person does unarmed strikes. Exactly. They're so dodgy. Oh. Alright, uh, that is a 12. Wait, it's it 5 plus 7, so that's, that's 11. That oh. does not hit. Damn. Yep. You uh, I'm then going to... But some sort of rock prevents you, just like flies off of its neck and hits your hits your fist head on and you don't get a hit on them. Yeah, I'm perturbed. I am going to spend a key point to fly your blows and I'm going to try to hit Hyena free. Oh, what this is right now. Oh boy. That oh, hits. Yeah. And he has to make a strength saving throw. Okay. That's a 16. Damn. Yep. Uh, he right. takes uh, 1d4 plus 5 damage. Seven. That's, that's uh, 7 damage. 7 damage. Yep. Alright. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of my turn. Now one right. in that twenty. So no one ever succeeds my saving throws. I hate it. It is, now, it is now Jelly's turn. What would you like to do? Oh boy, um, they're getting close. Uh, Gun. Peanut, pe peanut. Uh, that's bad. Wait, what did Peanut do? I just realized. Fenris, oh wait, I forgot to roll Fenris is a thing. Fuck. <laughs> Why are you just standing there? Help us out, Fe <laughs> Peanut! Yeah. Uh, Fenris, I can't you see how these adventures will do. Fenris just kind of snaps out of it and uh, gets back up, so I will not put him on the initiative order. Yeah, he, he was surprised. Hmm. Yep. yep. Oh, no, he, didn't have, he didn't have Jelly to tell him what to do. Peanut, you're supposed to help! <laughs> Okay. Oh, now, now I see. It do makes sense. Do. Pulls out Jelly, his now, a now bit. What, what would you like to do? Je uh, Fenris, after after Jelly is done, uh, Fenris will get a free round, just because I forgot to put him on the initiative order. Uh, he is throwing a bomb exactly there. That's enough to hit all of them, but just barely miss Salia. Okay. What kind of bomb did you get? Well, well, Sal Sal yeah, but you never but Salia wanted the bomb, Jelly. Remember? Yeah, you never gave her one. <laughs> Yeah, but she's not thinking about that. She's like, ah, I can get all three of them! Yay! Bro. Uh, that is a 95. Oh okay. Dear. It must be good. Uh, no, it's actually not that good. Uh, is it? We're just going to draw, like, this circle. Yep. Uh, that's, that's way too big. Uh, Bomb is delayed and goes off at the end of your next turn. All affected characters take 40. Four of lightning, of thunder damage, dear. If they still stand there. So that's still hit all three of them if they're in that area. Barely hits all right. Them. You know, you throw a bomb that seems to have some sort of like thundering sound coming from it, and it lands here and seems to the little the little why the little match thing is slowly like it's it's vibrating a lot. <laughs> it's like oh, it's, um, it's it seems like it's about to go off any second. <laughs> It's just like, ah, okay, I'm gonna just stand. Actually, I was safer behind you. <laughs> As he just, like, pops See, out uh, behind Fenris is gonna go ahead and get a get a free turn, because I forgot how about, uh, how about him. Uh, let's see. Well, he is a paladin, so I guess I could smite. Bruh. Uh, yeah. Please don't move out of the way. That one could be dangerous. He's gonna go ahead and use his divine smite, uh, along with his, uh... Wait, what weapon did I give him? I don't remember. A gun. Um, well, there's a spear on his art. Oh, Is yeah, he got a javelin. Okay. But they did not move closer. He should move mm -hmm. closer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna move a little closer to Hyena oh. 2 over here. And hey, uh, gonna go ahead. Away. Never oh, played a paladin before, so correct me. You hit people well. really hard, and sometimes you hit <laughs> them for harder. Also, you help your party. Okay. Uh, do, 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 gonna attack. Uh, that does not hint. If you crit, Damn. you use your highest level divine smite always. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. Get... Yeah, he misses. Goes to use uh, his divine. He takes out his javelin and tries to divine smite the uh, hyena, but he misses. 
Damn, and, you uh, wasted it already? <laughs> My man! <laughs> uh, he's gonna... He gets an actual attack, so... No, he gives him like a little pat on the back, like, there, 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 there. Uh, he also up. misses that one? My so man! Here. Please, could you be serious for five seconds? Just jelly behind there. Well, uh, jelly told ahead. you that. He's gonna go ahead and use his uh, bonus action uh, for his uh, runes. His uh, little crystal that floats in the middle of his chest plate uh, starts to glow, and he whacks down his fist onto the ground, and he will get. Uh, let's see. All right, he will down, right in, right in between him and the hyena, and uh, yeah, there's a little uh, room here that uh, seems to have the sort of pattern of like you assume it's like a bird of some kind, uh, and he flaps down and backs up one. He does not evoke an attack of opportunity from this because he's placed in a room. Anyway, that's the end of his turn. Uh, so, now Hyena it will three. be at 3. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and try to move up some more. Yeah. Uh, he's missing 10 movement speed. Yep. He's gonna attack Fenris. Bro. That misses. He's gonna try attack him again. That also misses. Uh, and that's the end of his turn. Uh, Steven, it's now your turn. I'll be casting Shadow Blade. <laughs> Alright, you cast Shadow Blade. What would you like to My do? My other it? arm, and I'm gonna attack the hyena one. Alright. Which one? Oh, hyena damn one? I ha yeah. Alright. Damn it, I have a double advantage. Doesn't even work. <laughs> How unfortunate. I got a 23. That hits. Time to roll damage. Roll it, or roll damage. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Five psychic damage. Five psychic damage. Great job. This guy is looking completely beat up. Like, he's not doing so high. I can't really intimidate it, so... I guess that's my turn. Alright. It is now... Dormy. Dormy's gonna go here. And... That's it. Alright. Uh, Lolum, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? How hurt does the one I'm attacking look? Yes. He looks very bloodied and bruised, like he's near he's nearing unconsciousness. Would they be like would they run away if they're low? Uh give me a history check to see if you know what this animal's behavior is. Real ones would, but giant ones are giant. Uh you have no idea. What even no. is this thing? You are- you assume they are from the Earth plane. That's all you can figure out. Oh, guess I'm attacking it. Alright. Yeah, a little. Hit. Doubles. So that hits. Yep. Roll damage. I guess if it's able to do non-lethal damage, I don't kill it. I want to. Uh, three. Do you want to try uh, not to kill him? Yeah. Alright. How much uh, is that? Nine psychic damage and three ice damage. Or cold. Okay. <sighs> yeah, he's he's almost unconscious. Oh. Okay. Neat. You do a non-lethal blow to like the to like his legs and stuff and he starts to topple over. Yeah, it's just him going like, just go away, you're losing. <laughs> oh, watch it there. We can get more meat. Alright. You know. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Alright. Uh, this hyena, seeing that the battle is going very south, is gonna go ahead and do a tactical retreat, so you will, everyone within his range gets an attack of opportunity against him. Yes. Alright. Yep, but I'm gonna like, just, just yank his tail off. Okay. It ain't smart. <laughs> Seven uh, plus that hits. six is thirteen. That those yep, hit. I yeah, hit it as wait, well. Nah, nah, crap. 
and I did another seven damage to it. I'm just like, just like. All right, stop. Okay, yeah. who? who I did first? six damage. Uh, it's running away. I did seven. As a reaction, I cast shield on it. To have it to okay, have it stop. You can't. Shield is a self spell. Is it? Is it a self spell? Yeah, that's yeah. a self. Spell. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, guys. Calm, calm down. What's happening? Who? Not over don't worry. I figured out. Sort I can't do it. Yeah. Just tell the party. All right. Uh, we'll say that. Mm, Me, please. I'm gonna give Steven the, uh... Yay. The what? Win. I have disadvantage <laughs> against this thing, and I won't hide. I have advantage. <laughs> uh, Steven, uh, Steven, uh, uh, how do you... Are you trying to be lethal? Are you trying to kill it? Oh, uh, I mean... I just wanna, like, put it down, so... Okay. Anyway, it works. Alright. As it begins to, uh, run away, Sally, uh, you go to hit it, uh, and you do so, but just before you can, Steven whacks it in the leg and it tumbles over to the ground uh, right on the radius of where the bomb is going to be uh, and kill he it. is unconscious yeah. Whoops. perfect so, oh, too bad well, I, 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 I went for the killing blow <laughs> too bad it's going to you not get... explode on the start of uh, you, you do not know whether or not it is dead it is, seems to be unconscious don't go with it. Well, Close I mean, I'm gonna try to skin it afterwards. That is... Oh my gosh. That is Hyena 1's, uh... turn. Alright, it is now Hyena 2's turn, and he's gonna go ahead and attack Fenris again, or at least try. Damn. I really hate Fenris. <laughs> that... that also misses. For fuck's sake. I mean, if Fenris missed him twice, he's clearly the biggest threat. Finally, finally that hits. Alright. He's gonna that does 2d8. That is very shitty. Okay, that is 15 damage. Actually, shitty my really... ass. <laughs> ah yes, 15 damage, as we all know. The minuscule of damage. <laughs> yep. Uh the hyena goes once again to sl slash at uh to bite at Fenris, and Fenris uh he deflects the first hit, but soon after the hyena gets to jump on him and sla uppercut slashes him in the stomach, uh, almost knocking the little crystal thing off of off of the chest plate, but it seems to be magnetic of some sorts. Are and that's okay? the end of the hyena's turn. I'm fine. Main shit is now your turn. Okay. Ten. Fifteen. Okay. First attack. Actually, mm -hmm. no, I can only do one attack right now. Y yeah, I, I. Yeah, think that th hits. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> be the twelve to be a gamer. Another fifteen damage. Fifteen damage to who? Hyena one or three? Hyena three. Hyena three. I can't get to hyena one. Okay. Okay. You, uh, and then slash at him. Bonus action, I'm gonna frenzy. Okay. Roll the hit. Uh, n no, I can't. Wait. That, you, that, that's for later. Yeah, I, I can only do that on my next turn. Mm-hmm. Bonus action is activating. Okay. Yeah. Is that the okay. end of your turn? Uh... Taking exhaustion already. Would you allow me use a f to use a free action to activate the shard of amplification? No, I would not. Okay. Uh, then uh, yeah, that's basically everything I can do. I'm done. All right. Hop it G around. G G turn. Come on, please. Let's see. I don't know how to play this architect. Use the. Rope, so the this, right? Don't go melee. Shoot it with the thing. That's what he always does. Ah, excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> Guess nice. He All always right, slings yeah. shots. He's gonna go ahead and use his sling. Uh, try and hit it. That misses. Bro. For fuck's sake. He's gonna try again. No, oh, not 20. Nice. Bruh. Finally. And, uh, let's see. Four plus. All right, and the hyena takes uh, eight points of damage. 
That's going to be the end of his turn. It is now Fenris. Yeah, gee. Alright, Fenris. Fenris is going to go ahead and have a change of pace. He's going to attack Hyena 3. And go, uh, okay. go here. Go. Can you go where? This is like a spot we can move to. No, that's. You don't want to move there. That's, oh, there's right. a room. It's a trap. Yes. yes. Um, <clears throat> trap card. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to fight the boy. That misses. Gonna try again. That also misses. God damn it, Fenris. You were supposed to be better than this. Uh, that's literally all he can do. He's playing the waiting game. Uh, Art Salia, <laughs> it is now your turn. Yep. I'm gonna headbutt. Uh, you know, Bruh. I know unarmed strikes advantage doesn't face Salia. Uh, Salia is going to headbutt Hina free, oh, and then her oh. next bonus action attack is going to be oh. for a drop kick. Hold oh, the hit with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Kill him. Kill him, Dad. I know. Ooh. And that hits. Yep. So my headbutt hits for. Uh, oh, that's only uh, six damage. All right. And this damage. is my drop kick. Okay. Oh, my drop kick hits. Okay, roll damage. And that's another seven damage. All right. I do a lot of damage. Well, yeah, she's a monk. Yeah. All right. Monks don't do. Yeah, it's, I have a lot of small hits. And yeah, that's my turn. I'm in the three I should, looking I a little bruised, a little bloody. Jelly turn, right. blow the like, shit up. Wait, can I move here? What? What's Unless in you here? Blow it up uh, by that's it. About to go. No, you, I would not recommend going there because that bomb is about I to go off. But would Salio listen? Would Salio know? Would you like to step into the pit of death? Probably not move into there um, after what she said when she threw it. Okay. okay, she also has like a 15 passive perception, she's like, okay, maybe that area's a bit dangerous. Yep. Okay, uh, Jelly, before you uh, begin your turn, please set off the thunder bomb. No, that, that's at the end of her turn. End of her turn? Oh, I thought it was at the start. Okay, no, it is not no, your turn. You. What would you like to do? Nice. nice, I got the recharge of my bomb again. Good, good. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll just chuck another bomb. That's, uh, Where are you probably here, so yeah, I can hit it. Yeah, we're thro throwing it like here-ish, I guess, so that it still hits two of them. Yep. All right, uh, random yeah. bomb. Yep, random bomb. Uh oh, that's uh, it's not. Do oh, these bombs wait. make noise? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I mean, they probably set off a noise that could be heard heard within some, like some of them. Do, some of them don't. <laughs> A few of them don't, but most of them probably could be heard within like 50 feet. You'd probably, around. you'd be very loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh... When you roll. <laughs> okay, uh, hyenas get the uh, three temporary hit points. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> nice. Alright, they get... I don't, I don't think speak. that was the right one. Hmm. Uh... Oh wait, that was the wrong color. Oh. What, what bomb exactly did you set off? 14. Brilliant. All effective characters okay. gain 3 temporary hit points. This temp HP stacks with itself or other temp HP. Nice. Alright, is that the end so, of your turn? She threw a bomb and she's going to be like, Ah, uh, Hinnon, I think I did the bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. And uh, then the then the bomb on this side goes off for right. forty four. Uh, the bomb there. immediately cries as hyena and it turns to ash. No. Uh, no, that's, my meat. That's ten damage to the one I to hyena sure. three. No, to to only hyena three. three because he's the only All one. Right. Ten damage to hyena three. All right. Yeah. He's not uh, looking good. It's not the best. Uh, right. So I, I removed seven of the. <laughs> I removed seven, HP. All right. Actually. It's now Hyena Three's turn. Uh, after being dealt that blow, he's gonna go ahead and attack you, Salia. No. Okay. Okay. So that is, is a. Eighteen. But that is a what? Eighteen. 
Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. That is six plus five plus five, so sixteen damage. Holy shit! Uh, I, yeah, yeah, they're weak, aren't they, man? <laughs> weak. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, that was plus three, never mind, it's thirteen. Oh, alright. Uh, well, she balanced them ag around okay. me and the uh, peanut joining, and we're both high level characters. Don't you notice? Yeah, I yeah. noticed once you, uh. <laughs> once peanut got the double attack. Yep. And Jelly, you know, uh, throwing. That's, uh, he's gonna make a second attack against, uh, Mange. Ploopy. Oh no, I'm taking damage. Oh darn. Is that does a 19 hit? Yes, it does. Alright, that is uh, 18 damage. Reaction stones endurance. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, that's Man. so much damage. Not after I'm done with it. Is it halved? Or just reduced? That's just 12 damage now. Oh darn! Right. I, I took damage. Oh. You, get, you take twelve damage. Okay. Twelve people. Twelve. Wait. Well, you're raging. Aren't you, aren't you the barbarian? Oh yeah, you're raging. Stones endurance. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Also have... If it goes to twelve, then it would go to six, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you're raging, right? You're still enraged. Yeah. So it goes down to six. Six damage. Hey. Nifty. Yeah. So six. Because all right, that's the end of fighting three's turn. Uh, Steven, it is now your turn. I'm gonna well, shuffle here opponent. and attack all right. this. All right, roll to hit. First attack. Ooh, that definitely hits. That's an eighteen plus five. Yep, that hits. Roll damage. One d six. Five damage for my first attack. Gives my bonus right. action to uh, attack with my uh, shadow blade. All right, roll the hit. You said five damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fourteen hits. Fourteen does hit. Roll damage. Yay! <laughs> uh, another f four damage. All right. He's he's getting worse by the minute. Dormy is gonna yeah. move toward here and give Mange the help action. All right, Mange, you'll have advantage on your next thing. All right, is that the end of your turn? No, I don't want to try to cancel out my disadvantage. Sad. Oh well, I mean, who goes first? <laughs> I mean, who goes next? Too late Angel though. Uh, me. Yellow. Well, uh, I can't really heal Salia now. Kill him. So much uh, people. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Dormy's uh, do a do small creature. Well, yeah, but I can't. I can't just share a space with no, Salia. The small creature can move through your space, essentially. But yeah, it's not the other space. way around. Uh, so five, ten. Shadow blade. Does everybody yeah, just have guess... Shadow Blade? Two of us uh, do. <laughs> well, it used to be my thing, but then someone took it, and I'm upset. I didn't Anyways, take I it, I borrowed it. It has three dice. Don't accept the right one, it's a lie, this one's a lie. I'm sorry, what the hell is magic? <laughs> 16, 16 plus 6. 22. It's this thing that us cool people do, man. Roll damage. Magic can fail you. Oh, fuck. A good axe. Bro. <laughs> Normally <laughs> would. How much damage is that? Yes. Uh, so that's <laughs> uh, 15 damage of psychic and 4 of ice. How do you want to do this? Kind of just bonks him on the head with the hilt of the blade and he's just like, go to sleep, please. Uh, the Are you doing lethal hit? Not really. Alright, good. Okay, then he, he falls over unconscious. You whack him on the head. Uh, oh. Alright. Why are you killing these guys? They're free meat. It's now, it not is now by the Hyena 2's turn. Hyena 2, seeing what has happened to his fellow brethren, he's gonna go ahead and uh, 
nab right. onto Hyena 3's leg and drag him away as he exits. You do get an attack of opportunity. So he's half movement because he's dragging something and he's yep. minus 10 because of his still slimy. Yep. Uh, so can I really use my reaction? To like, to like, put it back. Like, hey, no, that's mine. Yeah, I'm no. grabbing. What? We can't I'm grab a hold of it. I'm gonna say unless multiple of you do it, you can't. Uh, he seems to be fleeing. I'm grabbing a hold of it. Uh, I'll say three of you will have to do it in order. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I am doing it. Giant hyena. Okay. Mange, Salia. Anyone else? I mean, if y'all want uh, to. Dormy's helping Mange, remember? Dormy's helping. Dormy's helping, so No, me. that doesn't. Ca Dormy does not. Uh -huh. okay. You, you are. Un okay. Steven's Roll helping. Roll contested strength with this guy. All of us, or just one person? Just one of you. One of you. I'll roll it. Uh, uh, maybe the barbarian has a bunch of genus waving. I think I'll roll it. Alright. Uh... You know, <laughs> I think so. Uh, uh, Twenty-three, twenty-four, and that's just with my base plus got also raging, which is plus. So yeah, no, I got twenty-six at least. No, raging, right. raging doesn't add to grapple checks. Yeah, it doesn't add to checks like that. It only always go over this. Sounded like we, yeah. you got twenty-four, which is higher than twenty-three. I think you won. Yeah, yeah, you, you, somehow, somehow, you all are able to work together and pull the hyena, uh, corpse, it is dead, uh, oh. hyena three. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if hyena two's mouth and hyena two just runs away into the forest. Oh, it's t still slow, it can't run it's away. It's super Thank slow, you. but it's, it's, it's running as fast as it can, and... Uh, it, uses, it uses the action to, like, drag hyena three. Yes. Wait, we don't get to try and kill it? Apparently not. No, no, uh, GM's like saying, no, it, it, it magically disappears from the forces of the universe. I want to chuck a bomb at it before it goes away. I want to see if it All right, yes, I'll let, I'll let Jelly do that. Jelly, can you chuck bomb. a bomb right you chuck? What bomb? Yay, bomb! What'd you get? Ah, he's webbed! <laughs> there's 38, there's what? a web spawned on him. He's uh, webbed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he gets stuck in a giant spider web and just squirms like whimpering. So hey, he's still here, but it's hyena two, not three, because I deleted his thing. Well, we can see his oh, tried to run away. We don't mm -hmm. need to kill them. I mean, they uh, I mean, Fenris, Fenris takes the paw of this hyena and pushes it onto the rune, and the hyena uh, just takes some damage. But it's already dead, so it doesn't matter. It uh, sets off. What are you, you know, doing? You, you, you uh, I mean, what are you doing? He gets knocked five feet into the air, by the way. I forgot about that. Uh, Everybody? And then back to, back to the ground. Oh, jeez. You, you, you know Peanut can just, you know, trigger those at will, right? I did not know that. It says so but very he clearly. It, he did it anyway. He did it anyway. Okay. Well, it's anyway, still here. Uh, let's get on. I'm going to really quickly skin this. Uh, do you want to do, do help no. anyone? I don't think we have time to do that, Miss. Nah, uh, we can do that later. Just hide the body. Okay, uh, sure. Are we are we leaving this one still alive, the web one? Yes. Uh, we do need to kill you. Yolo. Them. There's a there's a live one. Talk to it. What okay. do you mean talk to it? I can't sure. speak to Why not? animals. Uh, oh. Okay. She's just going to start spawning bombs and she's going to put it right next to it. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. You're just gonna put a couple of bombs there? Yeah, so, 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 you know, when it, when it falls off, it lands on the bombs. <laughs> Don't worry. She actually, like, carefully pets, like, the non-web. Don't worry. It, 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 it snaps at you with its, uh, with its mouth, almost it, taking off your pants. Uh, Sally, like, it'll almost be Sally also right. makes, like, a makeshift snare, so that once it lands on the bombs, it then gets caught up in the tree again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. No. Well, well, let's say that was like. While while they're all like walking away, I'm gonna walk, can I walk over to it? Um. Yes, you can. I'm gonna can like hug. put a hand towards it and see if it doesn't. Give me an animal handling check with disadvantage. Oh, yeah. oh no. These guys are them. marked as aggressive, therefore they should not be. Oh. Able to... Uh, animal handling. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's like a 14. Uh, he snaps at you, nearly taking off your hand. And he growls. Like, struggling to get out of the web. Uh, Liliana, you I might want to walk away. I know, I know with what they're setting up, it is going to die, right? Yes. You know 100% he will definitely die if you leave just him here. Very highest chance. Please, just... Just calm down. Please. The hyena refuses to calm down. Uh, it seems like a lost cause. Just let it go. Come on, it'll be meat later. Aren't you, aren't you tired of tofu? Yes, I'm tired of tofu, but hyena meat is just a bit crazy. I've never tried it. Mm. I mean, it's spicy. Uh, don't, it's bit, don't, it's don't eat it. It's stringy, but it has a lot of protein. I'm going to free. Don't, don't, don't eat it. I know. Don't I'm going to. It. I'm going to go free it and let it off into the forest. Uh, Joe's not gonna, Are you gonna pu push away the the bombs that Jelly set up? Yes. I thought the bombs were gonna snare. activate if that didn't happen. I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to touch the bombs because I thought they were gonna fucking explode. Oh, they're about to explode. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I'm I'm booting them away as quick as I can, kicking them into the forest. That well, way. you're ta you'll take the full brunt of two, I guess. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess well, th this one doesn't do much. Uh, it reduces your AC by one for one turn. Okay. okay so basically, it has no effect. Uh. Okay. And um, ninety-two. Ah, okay, you you start to being very attracted to the wildlife of this area. Oh dear God, not this one. Oh shit. Okay, so I guess this is just gonna make us want to free it more. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, the you wildlife is attracted the, to you. you have the... So you know. Oh, the wildlife attracted to you. What? Yeah, to Menge. If he's the it's, one. It's like when a dog comes someone's oh, leg. Characters start attracting wildlife to their. Oh dear God, it's like Snow White. The the hyena immediately tries to go over and lick you, Menge. Not try to bite you, just try to lick you and paw at you. <laughs> I don't notice this. Good doggy. Good. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Well, I guess I did. Well, as soon as you pretty much. Sally's uh, snare can't really entrap this big of an animal, so you're good. The hyena will get free. Come on, we're waiting time. All yes, right, where to? Deeper. Uh, Fenris seems go? to be following the tracks of footsteps and the tracks of the silver and gemstones that are on the ground. All right, let's get moving. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't put me yep. too close. Should I roll survival to also track the footsteps, or...? Uh, no, I'll just say you can do it. Uh, okay. okay. We'll do this. Alright. <clears throat> I didn't so, get to see many explosions. Hey, that I'm sad. I need head pads. Right. Yeah, I think both of those were kind of duds. Fenris just lightly pats your head, Jilly. Yeah. Okay. Come on, you continue Dory. walking down. For, again, as soon as she gets too far away from you, she get, her eyes go dark. Can't see. Damn, Dory, what's wrong with you? It seems like this forest, because uh, of the the day it is, it has uh, some sort of it's magical, magical interference. It's very basic, very basic magical interference that causes a. Uh, Lilith, before we before we begin this next um this next thing, uh, give me a perception check. Ooh. Okay. Scary. Come on, Lulu. Makes it hard for Oh, wait, I have advantage because of the eye vehicle, but anyway, 17. Um, I'll say you can notice one of them. Uh, you notice that the little gemstone that floats in, uh, little, little, uh, Fenris's chest plate, uh, is very similar to the one around your neck. And also, you notice that Jelly also has one that, uh, hangs as an earring from her ear. Okay. Very odd. That they look so similar. But one of them, pe Peanuts uh, seems to glow gold while uh, uh, Jelly seems to glow silver. Yep. I feel That's like this all... would be passive perception. Uh, normally it would be, but because of the nature of the situation, uh, no, it is a check. Anyway, as you walk down, you see that there hey. are a group oh. of odd dogs wandering around playing. They seem young, young doggos, and uh, they just seem not necessarily aggressive. They just seem to be playing together and enjoying themselves. 
Dogs. <laughs> All right. Dogs. Oh, that's going to be good for me. But they do. Um, just but as you as you begin as you begin to like look at them for a little while, they start to blink around the place like teleport. Well, I want one, one, one. Peanut, can I keep one? Can I keep one? Can I keep one? If you can tame them, I'm sure they're not aggressive. Ah, bombs! Uh, Don't throw bombs. Hey, uh, Peanut, do you have any? Hmm? Hey, uh, Peanut, do you have any, like, wood on you? Uh, I like woodcrafting, but I haven't really come across much. I don't carry wood around with me. Oh, you need wood? I got uh, several fine. types. What what kind do you want? You just oh. grasp through okay. like, a backpack. Uh, satchel. What do you mm -hmm, need? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I got sticks, okay. I got planks. Uh, just, well, just kind of, uh, just kind of walks forward. Uh, mainly, uh... I'm sure you know, I like, I'm sure um, someone would be like, the, the floor around them turns to like a glowing sort of thing. Like, they almost like illuminate them with their magic. That's why the mushrooms and flowers seem to be different colors and glowing. They eat mushrooms. One wow. of the dogs comes up to you, uh, Lilum, and goes to sniff your feet. Uh, okay, give me stopping. an animal handling check to see. Let's see if it likes you. <laughs> We have to see if it likes your feet. <laughs> <laughs> it sees 14. you. Does it see fourteen? Uh, he doesn't pay much attention to you and just goes back to blinking around and yeah. cackling up the other dogs. What would you like to do about them? Well, I guess. Because mm. they I seem to I... almost be blocking your way a little bit as they keep yeah. blinking around and going in between your path. I mean, let's. <laughs> I'm gonna try to walk some rations. One of the blink dogs blinks in front of me. Do you have any, um. <laughs> what kind of wood uh... did you need? <sighs> oh, uh, do you have any, like, plywood? I need it. I mainly want it for crafting any boom wings. It's a nice hobby. What did you ask? Do you have any plywood? Plywood? Oh, uh, okay. I asked yeah, for okay. plywood. Let's see. Da -da -da. Hmm. Uh, where. Or any wood you know, which is nice and sturdy and would make for, you know, hitting things easier. Mm, uh, I don't have much, but I have this little little bit of it, I guess. I probably don't need it. Just pick picks up out of the ah. satchel. There you go. Peanut, are you going to do it? Oh, okay, you, you took a bad hit. I'm fine. Are you sure? You, you got her. Yes. Uh, the dogs dog seem to be playing a, a game with you guys where they try to block your path. How much, did did, how much damage did Peanut take? 15? Uh, Peanut took 15, so he has okay. 30, well, 34 damage. Um, uh, I'm gonna on him. You what? look hungry, so, um... What? I hand out, like, r r rations. Like a uh, day. You hand out... <laughs> And our rations, he goes over and he takes it from you, and he starts munching on it. It seems to only be enough for one dog, so he munches yeah. on it. Damn. I you just lowered the animal handling. I'm, I'm curing. Would you like to make the animal handling? Sure, right. as I try to pet him, I guess. Oh, he, he gets back 13 health. That was max. Okay. Good shit. Good HP. Yeah. Good nice. HP, yes. Ian gets back. Oh, I, I could have used that. Yeah. That is a five. Thirteen. Five. Uh, he does not like you being petted, and he kind of jerks away. But that's only for this guy. Can I pet this dog? All right. Uh, give me an animal animal handling. Come here. on, I have a plus two. I should. Yes, Brilliant. on natural twenty. Damn. Okay. This dog really seems to like you, Stephen. He just kind of, she. He sits down and he just kind of licks at your legs. Uh, and I've never had dogs. <laughs> He just seems really, almost like you completely tamed him somehow. Dormy looks in jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. You have successfully tamed a blink dog. Temporarily, unless uh, you make um, two more animal handling checks uh, and succeed later on. Uh, Alright, All right. I'll do that so later. So, they're trying to play a game where they block up half? Yep, but this one just seems to be sitting here, leaving right. a little area open. Alright, uh, Sally's gonna take the challenge and she's gonna use acrobatics to just like do a series of like flips and rolls to like, you know, try and get past it. Alright, uh, give me a acrobatics check then and he will oppose you yep. to try and stop you. Ooh, natural 20. 
I'm just walking by them. Uh, they keep blocking your path. That's what they're doing. Uh, I mean, he's a, I think he's a big, strong man. I think he's just kind of walking. Um, he's a, a big, dog. They're dog. A big, strong man. Plus, is the effect of the bomb still working on me? No. Which bomb? No. You, no. That bomb? you made it well ages ago. Yeah. 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 It's a plus one to the first one. No, the uh, one where, where all the wildlife is oh, likes yeah, me. Um, that, yeah, that one. one Dar Dar use Whatever. your original roll. I saw you roll a different one. What was that? Three plus. Uh, uh, three plus seven. So that's ten. Okay, then yeah, he he beats you. You cannot yeah, get yeah. over. He he blinks in your path. Yeah, yeah, the animal attraction bomb is still effective. That lasts indefinitely. Good. Oh, oh shit. And yeah, yeah. this doggo walks up to you and kind of just sits down and wags its tail at you, mange. You know, I'll try something now. If oh. I can, like, scare the dog. Why? You good tamed dog. one. Why? Oh, you okay. just tamed one! I mean, I want to keep the one I tamed, or the you know, two, but the rest. Unless you want me to well, tame all of them. Well, you only tamed this one. You just... only seem to tame this one. So I can't tame this one or this one or this one. <laughs> I'm only I'm only allowing you to each tame one dog. Damn. Well, one of I you to wanna... tame a dog. You cannot have more than one animal. Jell is giving um, this one just a hug. The only an animal handling check with disadvantage because dogs do not like hugs. It is, some dogs do. Some dogs don't. Some dogs do, but I doubt these wild fey ones. These fey dogs don't. Ah, perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call this coconut. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, she's just trying to give it a hug. It rolls a four, so it's probably just pushing her back. It, it just, it, it, it pushes, it, it backs up like that one cat in the meme where it just like... She, she keeps walking to towards her. it. Come it runs away. Ah. It, it blinks away. Aww. Well, well she, got she got past. Jelly, please stop walking off. <laughs> Just go through the one. Well, she's walking on the path. I'm, I'm yeah. not leaving. Uh, I assume Sally's gonna face Blink Dog again to try and get past. Uh, there's enough room for you guys to walk past them now. Uh, Yay. I hear the coconut's following me. Trolling me. Uh, your dog, apparently you named Coconut, you get a Blink Dog, uh, and throughout this, uh, every session, I'll have you make an animal handling check. Until you succeed, three of them. Uh, he is a temporary uh, uh, pet, and will only do like half of what you say. And once you, if you fully make all of the checks, he will stay by you and will be a full-on pet. Man, I got really lucky. was kind of just, you know, sitting down with his dog, and then, you know, talking about idle conversation, and then Jelly tried to hug the dog, the dog's gone, Loom's depressed, he stands up and he kind of walks along. Loom's <laughs> depressed. The other blink like it's all through that. The other blink dogs like go over, sniff Mr. Coconut, and then walk off. Yeah, it Stinky. seems like they jealous halfway. Seems like they were saying goodbye to him, and the blink dogs uh, wander off, and you officially have a little, little animal here. I keep keg yeah. pets. Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> currently Jelly's currently crying. At Emrys is just <laughs> holding you like a baby, uh, Jelly. <laughs> Let us stay. <laughs> That's why you don't hug them immediately. Oh, this is my favorite encounter. <laughs> oh, it's an encounter. Uh, yeah, you don't. Yeah, dogs like pets and they like food. You don't really hug them. That's an act, like an act of aggression. It's an act of aggression That's for like really almost every animal on the planet. Ah. <laughs> as you as you wander down, you see that river. It's on the side of the uh, of the area, and you see that there are a bunch of little little weird. Elemental thingies with masks on them. Uh, if you want, you can make a history check to see if you know what these things are. They seem oh. to be like turning the the water different colors. They seem to be having Dark, fun. That's my dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll, I'll roll history. How much is that? That's a ten. Just, ten. Na uh, you do not. Jelly. You think they're elementals based on how they look. They don't really look like they have specific genders. They don't really look like they have any sort of set shape. Oh dear. Uh, Can I roll two? Since I'm a wizard, I should be big brain. <laughs> oh, uh, well, Ren knows what these are. Uh, Ren, Jelly knows that these are Qinghua. Qinghua are uh, elementals from the upper dark. They are artistic and kind creatures who enjoy a good adventure. 
and they enjoy trading uh, uh, little rocks and shiny things they find for other shiny things like gold or gemstones or silver. Some of them even seem to be playing with the silver and the gemstones they found on the ground. They're just poking at them and having some fun. I hope they're not dangerous. Let's just walk past them. But uh, you also see that uh, okay. there's a lot of rocks that they seem to have piled up uh, around here. There's a lot of them. So Can they're pretty it? much blocking your path, yes. I'll draw. Uh, let's see. I mean, she just. And then they be good start... climbers. Uh, she I'm just did start taking out bombs. They seem to. Uh, Fenris goes over to you, Jelly, and places your hand up. No, we can't destroy the vegetation. Remember, this is a protective forest. What? Uh, I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's fine. No. no I am also sure it's, it's fine. fine. Uh, no, listen, I'm looking away. I'm not seeing anything. I'm the dumb. See, it's fine. Oh look, one of the rocks is even smiling at me, saying this is fine. <laughs> uh, Jelly, hmm? are you throwing a bomb at them? Uh, she's going. Unless somebody stops her, she's going to start planting bombs. Uh, Fenris is gonna come over and stop you. No, we're not oh. planting bombs. Got him. Yep. Come on, it's an easy way to get around. Up. He's gonna pick you up by the scruff of the neck, by your uh, little shirt, and pull you back. How no, we don't want this? to disturb. Um, you. I'm going. It's, it's very. Tall. I'm going to use. I'm going to use my fan. Oh. Uh, you can most certainly try. Fine. But oh, you're come on, man. Really? You never let me use my fan. It's because it doesn't <laughs> work. Here. Anyways, yeah. go ahead and try. What can we? You, you cast gust of wind and the rocks don't budge. <laughs> you do see that one of the rocks though transforms into a little chowak, chowing, and he just rolls down. It almost sounds like he's going wee, and he just plops down right here, and he waves at you. This is speak common, and I. <laughs> Okay, fine. Um, let's climb. Let me see. Peanut, you're carrying me. If we have to climb, they do not. They do not know any language. They just wave, and they. One of the and this little guy seems to be holding some sort of uh, rune of, of some kind. Rune, rune stone. Do I see it? Uh, yeah, yeah, you all can see it. He's kind of like holding it up, like, like, look what I found. Do I know what they are? I I like I heard uh, explanation, but like, would Red tell me? Check. Oh, I met the uh. Red doesn't actually know what these are. I got a uh, arcana. I rolled that twenty. Twenty-three uh, on the uh, rune. Twenty-three. All right. Yeah, you know what these are. They are rune stones of the elements. They are uh, very common items, and they're very useful as they deal. Whatever damage type, it depends on what rune stone they are. This one that he's holding seems to be a fire rune stone. He's just I'm holding it. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go up to it and offer uh, a gold coin to the element. Yep. All right. Nan, if we don't figure Roll anything an else. Animal handling check. Okay. Damn, they're not animals. They're people. I'm I'm going general with animals. <laughs> I'm rolling so good today. I got an eight. Okay. Yep. He he immediately it immediately sees the uh, little gold coin and he, he drop puts the rune stone on the ground takes the gold coin and snuggles with it. He he just he looks into it like it's a mirror because he's so tiny and you get a rune stone of fire which I will Neat. send you the item for these it's like guys. Like piglins in Minecraft. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what they're they are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, give them gold, they give you something in return. I guess I'm gonna, I guess, I guess I'm gonna walk up to, to the one, and mm -hmm. basically just kind of be like, "Well, um, is there any way that you could uh, move this so we could pass?" The it does not know what you are saying. They do not understand any language. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of moves its head to the side, like, "What are you saying?" Like, like a dog, almost. Just let me blow it up, it'll be easy. Let go. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I move to blow it up then. No, we're not blowing up anything. Okay. Well, is there uh. just an easier way around? Oh. Let Let's see. He, uh, 
almost taps into actually they do know one language but you guys don't know it uh, it ha uh, jelly you know that he uh Fenris here is speaking uh an elemental form of magi and he again very subjective language and he starts talking Steven do you you do recognize a bit of Magi, so roll me like an intelligence to see if you understand what he's saying. Alright, let's see if my good rolls are still doing good. Oh my god. <laughs> that it, intelligence check, right? Intelligence, yes. 21. Oh yeah, you definitely know what they're saying. You pick up like, uh, Magi is a very short language, so like, it's easy to speak, it relies heavily on context. You see that wall down is what he Fenris says and the little elemental thing it replies with fret wall friends Fenris looks over to the party it says that the wall are actually a bunch of other chingua ah can they respond to me past wall uh you cannot actually speak me oh i can't only under you can only understand it it's weird so. on my tongue okay but uh, Fenris relays this information, and the little Chawang uh, replies, Price, wall, go. Uh, you notice. And so Fenris relies, he wants to be paid for it. How oh, much? I have something. I have something. I, I hope no it's not a bomb. Bombs. Jelly? No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. I'm not Sean. giving him a bomb. Here you go. She's going to Give take it. up her fire starter and, li and light it so it starts. Like, uh, it's a, essentially just a lighter. It actually scares the Chingwa a little bit, and he backs up, <laughs> and Aww. shakes Aww, his head, like and... Doesn't like that? And hmm. it, it, it replies, uh, gold me. And basically asking for gold, or shiny. So. It seems it wants gold, or any sort of shiny object. Do I have that shiny? That's not money. <laughs> Uh, uh, you do remember, remember there are a bunch of gemstones and silver littering the ground. If they're on the ground, should they be chasing them? Oh Why? yeah, some of them are just like, laying around, uh, like, snuggling little pieces of, uh, golden stuff. Uh, they're very affectionate creatures. You know, fuck it, I'll give it, I'll give another piece of gold. It takes, uh, another piece of gold and, uh, five different chingwa fall down. Uh, from and it makes a pretty sizable dent in the big old rocks, and the five of them just walk off uh, or go to play in the river. Oh my god! I have to spend all my money to get down to Fenris pull down is, the wall. Uh, Fenris, pats, uh, Fenris pats you on the shoulder. I got this, and he hands the Chingwa fifty gold. Oh. The Chingwa is pretty much buried in gold, and a bunch of other Chingwa disappear. All the rocks start turning into Chingwa, and the entire wall goes down. Wow. Remember guys, all of your problems can be solved with capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, the Chingwa were... goes over to Fenris and hugs his leg. Uh, Is that your pet? Fenris oh, is gonna make like... an animal handling check. Oh god, natural 20. <laughs> oh, it likes you. you know? yeah. The Chingwa just climbs up onto his armor and just sits there on his shoulder. Hey, I... that's a nice spot! <laughs> Get down! It's my spot. these guys? Hmm? Oh, yeah, they're just hanging out in the river. The Do they have them. anything in their hands? Like, this Yeah, uh, a lot of them seem to have little piles of runestones. Oh. oh. I sorry, don't know I what a runestone does. I didn't get one. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find it, but I keep getting pulled. So, uh... Wow, we're getting pets. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. Hold on, I don't know where I put it. That's the problem. I don't know where it went. Uh... Yeah, I don't know where my family Give it to me later. Entire... Yeah, I'll give it to you later, but basically they do like 1d6 of whatever Are they, they reusable, or...? No, one, one, one use. So like a bomb? Yeah. But these other guys, three of them seem to be holding different kinds. 
Bell is picking up a couple of the gemstones on the ground. Eh, maybe these can be used. You, some. you'll get. Uh, give me an investigation check to see how many uh, you get. Uh, can I give her advantage? Around. Yeah, you can give her advantage. I thought you said they were littered with them. Yeah, they're littered on the ground, but I'm giving you those that are actually worth something. I mean, Most of these are worth uh, 21. Okay, you get 10 gold. Is that gold. with advantage, Ren? Oh, no. You give 10 gold uh, uh, worth of... Uh, worth gemstones. Of gemstones. So. Uh, gold isn't val valuable. I She's think we good. should be moving on. Okay, I will be casting is... moving on. Yep. Is anyone is anyone hurt? I'm doing oh, I'm well. a bit I'm a bit hurt. Uh, see, it got me good on my uh, shoulder. Pause, your, pause at your uh, at your pocket where your rations are. I'm giving it food then. You spend a ration and give coconut some food. Damn. All right, where's, check has where's the wound, Salvia? Ah, oh, it's on my shoulder uh, here. And she's gonna like okay. take off a bit of a take off a cloak and reveal her shoulder, revealing Don't... no tattoos, no scars. Well, probably scars, but they're under the fur. Okay, don't break my hand. <laughs> uh huh. It does sound like something Jelly would do, or not Jelly? Uh... Okay, you kill. Uh, let me read. Yeah, uh, nine HP. Okay. I'm at 37. As you begin the walk, you see in the distance that there is a river with a half-broken boat in it and a bunch of stuff littering the ground. And, uh, yeah. That's What's what the see. stuff? The stuff, uh, well, make an investigation check. Hell yeah. I'll give you advantage. Yep. All right, advantage then. Got my eight. Yeah, I'm like, my hey, uh, maybe you should look there. Oh, all right. right. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, they are a bunch of navigators' tools. So you get a if you pick them up, you get a set of navigators' tools. I'll, I'll pick one up. <laughs> yep, you get a set of na navigators' tools. Yes. Uh, you walk up. You're all up here. Oh. No, Jell is just jumping ahead. No, you're dead. all up there by the time uh, he starts to check. Well, I can't use these though, or I don't know how to. Oh, the navigator tools. Right. Ooh, nice. I I've been looking for those for my all right. So you see that all the footprints, most of them, lead up to the dock area area and to where these. There seem to have been more boats and more docks here, but most of them crumbled, and this boat isn't actually usable. It seems to have been cracked un under pressure. How uh, old do these look? Uh, they look about, you would say, three years old, I'll say. Uh, the dock in them, and all the other ducks seem to have been older, but they are all completely destroyed. Uh, is so there anything past the river? What direction is it flowing? Uh, it seems to be a two-way river, actually. What the? It's through... How does that work? Uh, magic. <laughs> uh, magic, yes, exactly. The dark Fantasy forest water. has very weird magic, and so this side is flowing this way. This side is flowing that way. Ah, it's a this one's stuck in the middle. Phenomenon. It's very rare, very rare. I slow enough phenomenon. Yes. Everyone, uh, make oh, investigation well, checks. Of nature. Everyone who hasn't already made them, make investigation checks. Seems fine. Uh, great. Should I roll for Dora me? <laughs> Once hey! again, that's my dice roller. Hey. No, I'm using it. It's mine. Why the fuck are you using my dice roller? Sharing, bro. Anyway. I got a Share, Cause I didn't have one. Social There's distancing. Right here. Social distancing Everyone people. Everyone type in your to type in your totals in the chat. I'll right there. I can't roll. Damn. How'd you roll a 29 on a 20 sided dice? Dar, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you bringing it over here? <laughs> uh, I, mean, well, I didn't do that. That that, 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 that was Dormy. What the fuck? Get out! <laughs> out of here! Okay. Uh, who all rolled? I got a natural 20. All I got right. a 17. I got an 11. 
All right, Lolum, you will find this. Uh, you find a notebook on the uh, on the dock area, but it is in a. Oh, why are you taking my dice holder? In a language that you do not understand, Dark, please stop fooling around. Don't steal it, and everybody else. Hey, dice what? Room. Anyway, you find a notebook that seems to have been written in a language you do not understand, what but it does look that? familiar to. It would look familiar to Stephen, I'll say. Damn. <laughs> Well, I uh, found a book that I cannot read. This is. Uh, Main, you find oh, more, nice. another map and more navigator tools. Uh, Steven, you see that this is also of Magi script, but you can't read it. It's uh, Magi. It seems to be a little uh, more compli complicated form. What that you got there? Oh, hey, okay. let, let me see it. I'll uh, give it to. Fenris. Uh, Fenris goes to take it from you. God name him. Uh. Fenris uh, will read the book. Study spells name. Huh? huh? No, Fenris. Name. Fenris. It's that, but with an S at the end, not an X. Uh, this seems to be taking stock of things, but also, uh, it also seems to be the direction in which uh, they've decided to head. Someone must have dropped this. Says that the higher ranking Idokrais people have taken a direct route to Apotek, while low ranking peasants and workers went on a longer route around the south and back up to the east to another area in Apotek. We should oh, yeah. probably. We should probably. Should we report take this, this back to the rest? Yes, definitely. This is definitely something we were looking for. Hmm. Neat. Oh, yeah. So should we follow them now while the trail's hot, or should we uh, inform the rest of them? No, rest we, of the should, city? we should definitely go back and get the proper authorities for this. What but also, bad. this also has some dwarfish magi in it. In a very odd array. I'm surprised they have access to this language. It's very exclusive. Go oh. back already? Yes, yes, we have to. Uh, also, uh, but you can't even hear me perform yet. No, no uh, more bombs. So we're at the camp. Mains, you also find a, a box full of 15 rations and a pouch of 40 gold. Ooh. Dog. Come right. on, Jelly. It's time to go. Keep going. No. No. I wonder what Pachinko said. We can't be It's just one little bomb. Come on. Can I throw you a can bomb set in the up river? a bomb, but you cannot, we cannot continue forward. There My is bad. literally no way we can. Oh, come on, it's just a river. How deep could it possibly No! Fenris grabs you by the scruff of your shirt again. That's <laughs> it. Going. I'm gonna I toss hate, Fenris I the map shake. Right here. You can probably repair this. the boat. No, we need to go back and alert the proper authorities of this. Oh, the more people yeah, yeah, on this sure. case, the more people on, the ca on this case, the more better we'll, we'll be in the end. Come on. Definitely. But I can fix the boat. No, Jelly. If Jelly says she can fix the boat, I trust her. Fenris, Jelly, Fenris whispers in your ear something in Magi. No one else can understand this. Pachinko will flip if we go off any further. I can sense her here. Let's go. Aww. Definitely can't hear that. Mm, yeah, I'm no, too far. I do not understand him. No one understands what he said. Come on, Fenris uh, picks up Jelly and his little chingua pet and starts walking off. She chucks a bomb into oh. the river. Chuck a bomb into the river and it explodes. I'm not sure what effect it has, but it's there. We're about to see. Should be getting a move on. We're getting a water right. supply. Ah. Let's a get moving. A golden coin made of silvered copper appears, pops up into the air, and then drops into the water. Oh, river can river. Sally like try to sleight of hand to like pick it up? No, oh. you cannot. It's too big of a river. Swim. I mean, no. Sally is pretty nimble. God. You can Bruh. most certainly try to go into the water. Just a quick sleight of hand and I'm out. Damn. <laughs> uh, that, that's a 10. Uh, nope. As soon as you go to touch the water, a tentacle fli flips you back onto the dry land, and it- whatever it was seems to swim past. Oh, what the? And picks oh. up whatever item oh. I forgot 
what it was dropped into the water. Uh, yeah. a, golden, a golden coin made of silvered copper. Yep. <laughs> um. Interesting. Uh, yes. Right, turn me around. Exactly. The water's a too dangerous. Let's 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 go back to camp and alert. I want to go. Okay, by the way, man, um, I, no, I have a question no. for you. What? So, in when you speak other languages, a lot of things are named the same, but names typically do not. So, did I hear the name Pachinko? No, you did not, because Pachinko is not a name; it is a word in that language. Okay. So. Uh, yep. But we make it back it's, safely, but, right? Does it no, sound no, different, no. or is it still Pachinka? It sounds way different. You cannot understand it. Okay. But if she won't be mad. She knew what yes. we were going to do. She's already inherently mad at us. Let's go. And oh. uh, you all start walking back to camp. Well. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wonder why she's mad at them. No, you don't know that he said Pachinka. Oh. Yeah, you don't off know. character though. I wonder. What... <laughs> I wonder if it's the bomb thing. Uh, uh, so as we walk back, um, I remember that we left the hyena corpse, which I want to skin. Uh, the hyena corpse seems to have been dragged off by another animal. Got him. <laughs> so if you walk back, it's about midnight at this point. Uh, and you walk back. Most people seem to be asleep asleep in the tents. But uh, you do see some uh, other people. Let's go past number two now. Or these. Hello, we're done. We got what we needed. You Aww. see that Pachinko is here talking to that cloaked lady again. And uh, Jelly, you go to spit out the cloaked lady's name, but Fenris immediately covers your face. Hello. And the cloaked, cloaked lady disappears. Wow. What's uh, all that? Pachinko walks up to the party. Oh, Invisibility. Boy. She immediately sees that Fenris and Jelly Damn. are here and nope. is inherently is inherently you can kinda of see like there's this there's an angry look on Pachinko's face under her mask. And Jelly's oh, hiding behind you. the brother and sister. Yes. Ugh, <sighs> I hope they didn't cause too much trouble. She glares at Jelly and Peanut. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Pachinko. Uh, yes, hello, Fenris. Anyway, what did you all find? Uh, Fenris uh, uh, over and shows Pachinko the uh, notebook. Hmm. Very well. Um, I will gonna... alert uh, the other authorities about this matter. I'm going to hand you her the all. map as well. Oh, yes. This will be very helpful in our investigation. Well, here's your payment. She she hands each of the party members a hundred gold. Thank you. You're now, not Pachinko, you're, you're stacked. <laughs> oh, Jelly's legit like... No, Fen like... Fenris has you by the scruff of your shirt still. He's holding Aww. you. Let go. Well. Oh, you're finally. Now for your, for your next mission, I have another one for you. I will meet about it with you later at a tavern called the Steaming Kettle. It's uh, across town a little while, has good room service and such. I'd suggest going there tonight to rest, or you can stay here at camp. But I have to be off now. Jelly? Fenris? I'll go with them. I'll go with them. Talon? Talon? Mm, she no. shakes. I, you know I don't like that name. That's uh. the point. Now let's go. <laughs> Uh, Pachinko starts walking in the other direction, and Fe Peanut and Jelly follow. Uh, she, uh, See you, Peanut and Jelly. A, she throws a goodbye bomb at them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> use her, her powers to veto that and yeet it into the forest. What? She's uh, more but, than you. No, 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 this is a good bomb. This is a radiant bomb. It's a good bomb. It heals them for 1d8. Sure. Come on, sure. it's a good buy bomb. <laughs> no. Uh, she, she drags you all, you both off before you can do anything. Ren, thank you for joining us. Yeah, okay, that was fun. They all heal for five damage. <laughs> Alright, now ban him. Ban him to the server. Get him, get him the fuck out of here. Go. 
God. And they walk off into the distance. And, uh, yeah. What would you like to do? No, the more... I, the more she doesn't tell us about that cloaked lady, the more suspicious it makes us of her. But... Just a yeah, I mean, she knows... Thing. She's the one uh, sort of guiding all the side quest business. It seems like she knows more about it than she lets on. Oh, well. Huh. I want to say we talk on the way and we Chico get headed. and the others leave, we're going to be ending the session a little early today because uh, I didn't write another 30 minutes. So I'm sorry about that. But oh, shopping. As Pachinko and the others shopping. leave off to do their own business, you begin to hear a grumble in the air. You feel the ground beneath you shake and suddenly a blast of green arcane magic flows over the city. You see in the distance near the Peace District a large mushroom-shaped cloud peers over the horizon. Holy the shit, I got nuked! The, black. Oh. the, cl the oh, color dear. of the cloud is green and black, the traditional colors of the Eidocrace clan. Just then you hear the screams of people in the area as the Guardsmen from the camp start running toward the fires of the blast. Go. Just out of the corner of your eye, your eye, you see a familiar mushroom cloud appears over the border of the city. You assume somewhere in Riften. With no time to waste, you stand your ground to uh. the fact that you've just just got deafened from the shockwave that passed over you. And that's where we're going to end the session. It's two cities oh. got nuked? I didn't know from... Damn! Yeah. Uh, Sally, Sally's gonna be like, huh, I didn't know Jelly's bombs were that powerful. <laughs> no. <laughs> My reaction to well, it as soon as oh, I saw the Riften explosion, I, the... I started booking it towards the town. Riften yeah. and Pion have both been bombed by the Idol Christ. No, I like one of those towns. I forgot which one <laughs> that was. <laughs> Riften? I assume Riften. But uh, yes, yeah, so sorry we had to end the session a little earlier than normal. I didn't really plan anything past the animal checks and stuff. Uh, I'm surprised one of you actually got to tame an animal. Thanks. Temporarily. So next session we'll have you make another animal handling check to see if he sticks around. Uh, I was going to bar yeah. if any of these guys had uh, armor. <laughs> that <laughs> there are any spare armor. Would they? Uh I'm sorry. Yeah, what's... like, what, did, did we have time to like take a short rest or something? Uh, yeah. Also, you had time to take a short rest, just as Pachinko and them left. Left. You took like an hour nap. All right. Uh, uh during that hour, I got to work on um, wh whistling my boomerang. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask any of them if they have any spare? Uh, I'm gonna say sure. Studded leather. You know, I'll roll to see if they're there. Oh shit, drop dice. Uh, no, there are no extra pairs of armor in the area. Damn. And you, you can I ask any of them? Buy... Hold on, you go ahead. You had the chance to buy some earlier. I, I didn't have money. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask anyway. one of them how navigator's tools work? Uh, sure. Uh, one Something of them fun. will attempt to uh, give me an intelligence check. Alright, come uh, on. It's to see if you can understand how this works. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, 13. Um, you learn a little bit. You learn about longitude and latitude and all that jazz, but other than that, you don't really know what you're doing with them. Damn, what's a langitude? And then the shockwave, and then the shockwave goes off, and yep. Neat, that was chill. That was a fun session. That was uh, oddly relaxing. That was an interesting session. And with Maybe that... And with that, Ambrosia Session 6 is over. Uh, where next time, you guys are going to be having to deal with the chaos of Tyon and Riften, having been attacked by the Idocris in an attempt of terrorism. Brilliant! It's huge terrorism, bro. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>